Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's good, y'all? Welcome to another episode of Real Talk, where, as always, if shit's real, we talk about it. Yo, I'm your host for tonight, Pat Scorpio, the England representative. And as always, I got my man with me. I'm going to let him introduce himself. Hey, what up? You know what it do, man. Shout out to the guy, aka the GOAT artist. Monday night, ringgameradio.com in the building. Um, We here live. What's good? Let's do this. Boxing talk. Yes, sir. Ring gang in the house forever and always. And as always, I got my other man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Hey, yo, what's good? You already know who this is. Your boy King P. Bodega P. Bodega Box in the building. Ring gang radio all day. Let's go. All you fragile motherfuckers, stay out the bodega for a week. God damn. <laughs> you niggas. Nah, so nah, 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 nah. Fuck that. We ain't, we ain't getting, look, we ain't gonna disrespect no light skinned niggas from Florida today. I don't care how fragile, fragile they, they, not, they appear. I'm, I'm not disrespecting f- niggas from Florida. I'm disrespecting niggas with fragile minds, fragile bodies, and fragile egos. Stay out the <laughs> fucking bodega for a week, please. <laughs> Let me repair. I mean, I, I, I mean, he was training like <laughs> the bodega. The bodega is in mourning. No, Maxi <laughs> Hughes, then, huh? <laughs> Yes, that's another one. Fra- fra- fragile mind. <laughs> yeah, no, it, uh, and we'll get more into that. All of that, you know, what I'm saying. But uh, last, but certainly not least, I got my I got my other man with me. I'm gonna let him introduce himself. Hey, what's fly? What's fly? It's concert pilot, West Coast Avenger, preparing for liftoff, ringing radio. Let's get it. Let's fly. Yes, sir. Conscious pilot stays elevated above the clouds. You dig? But yeah, man, you know, in the span of 24 hours, man. Uh, Fairly whole hum week of boxing in terms of what's coming up next weekend. Now it turns into, you know, obviously now we got the computers putin and all that. The new cycles are, you know, are all, you know, all up and roar about everything that's going on right now with PBC. Of course, we got the news earlier today and shout out to the boxing voice to actually breaking the news. And of course, we have Keith, um, Keith Thurman's trainer denying it, but Keith Thurman suffered an injury, a bicep injury while he was sparring. And so after an MRI, he got pulled out of a main event against Tim Zhu. And now we have Sebastian Fondora taking this place. But yeah, with now with 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 Thurman. Now keep in mind, me and P were victims of Thurman canceling before because of injury. So this is not because you know way back in 2015 or so or something like that, you know, Thurman Thurman Porter was supposed to be a Mohegan Sun in Connecticut. It was like a it was a four fight. It was like a four fight card. You know, it had like um it had Morris and Quayard, and they had and it had um what is it? I think it was like I think I think Porter was supposed to be on there. It was, it was yeah, supposed to be- yeah, that that was when that was when Keith crashed his car into a damn fucking uh, shopping cart at Costco's. Man, yeah. I- Fuck out of here! Yeah, and that was originally that was gonna be the first place that me and Keeper would have would have actually met the, at that day because you know, and I had a whole bunch of like other plans because I had you know there was a, a former fling that was going to come with a homegirls. I was gonna introduce them to P and and another cat, you know, Yawn. Shout out to hey, him. You mad, this nigga fucked up your, a double date, like. No, no, this is no, this why I would put them on them. Like me, I, I was in my relationship, nigga. I was just gonna put them on, you know, put. Those on them, nigga. That, yeah, you know, yeah, I, yeah. It's, because it's, you know, I'm, 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 I'm that type of homie. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Noise. You know, but I'm, I'm a righteous dude. But uh, yeah, no, I was pissed too because we had bought tickets and we, we, we had a refund, and then they split up the whole fucking card. One fight went to California, which I went. Uh, another fight went to New York, and another fight stayed connected, which was the Gary Russell fight, which I also went to, but. This is just it was, that was like the first of all these Thurman. Yeah, nigga, you theory. traveling around like you like you after the fucking Dragon Balls, nigga. Like shit, right? It, it, it was it was a lot, a lot of fights. And that, honestly, that would have been one of PBC's best cards though had that shit after been put together. But yeah, Thurman Thurman has cost us for. And now, granted, you know Thurman Porter eventually came off, and you know we me and P saw at Barclays, and you know it's probably arguably the best fight that PBC has ever aired. You know, that shit was just, that shit was raw. Like, that shit, you know, that shit was a throwback to the what's weight fights of yesteryear, or last decade for that matter. But Thurman, though, it just seemed like, you know, every single time Thurman is on that cusp of, you know, greatness, Hall of Fame, 
it, his career took a dive, and that is really after the Gar Danny Garcia fight. It's like you know, it's like I'm injured. I'm playing my kazoo. It's something, my wrist, my knee. Something's going wrong with Keith Thurman. You know, and then you know he, and then I mean, 20, uh, 2019 is the last time he actually fought two fights in one year. You know what I'm saying? And you know, it's you know, like 2019 was one of the best years. Nigga. Yeah, I mean, then he he had the scare against Josecito Lopez, and then he finally lost his zero to Manny Pacquiao. So it's like, and then after that, he stayed out of the ring, and then he fought Mario Barrios, and then that's his last fight to date. <laughs> so. You right, hold on, hold on, though, but man, but like, yo, yo, we gotta address the comments because, like, this motherfucker oh. just keep going. Oh, someone's going. going in on German. <laughs> I mean, hey, I mean, go. Nah, ahead. Did, nah, nah, like, this bitch going in on me first. Like, <laughs> I mean, who the white man wearing all red? Like, god damn. <laughs> Your CEO, white fighter Thurman, pulled out Shutterworth. Look, look at Shutterworth, he's speechless. Thurman always uses privilege to avoid fights for years. It ain't nothing new. He used it to avoid Spence, Stanion, his boots, and Crawford. Man, shut Thurman the Thurman don't fuck fight up. brothers. Shut yeah, the yeah, fuck shut up. the fuck up, man. Damn, bitch. <laughs> this is the fourth time Thurman used that injury excuse. Man, but God damn, let somebody up. else say something. You're not trying to hear <laughs> that today. God damn it. What, what does this even mean? Miss Bitch believe he uses crayons to color his arm purple. Fuck out of here, you you yeah, one punch man you. troll. Fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> tired, 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 tired of this bullshit. Yeah, man, here. we gotta start drug testing the chat. Like y'all niggas just coming here saying anything. Like, well, no, Thurman didn't fool me because it's like I mean, I mean, granted, like I said, Thurman is one of those. I mean, he's to me his career is a little bit disappointing because he he was trending towards Hall of Fame and so that. But no, nah, he's not, and we'll get more into that particular part uh, later on. But yeah, Thurman has just been. It's just like, I mean, you're 25 months inactive. Like, what are you doing to injure yourself? Like, what is this? Like, it's it seems like you know, it's like what are you maybe doing? overtraining. I mean, apparently it must be because you're because you know because I mean Keith is known to blow up in weight in between fights. I mean, motherfucker walks around to like one ninety, like almost two hundred, and look and looks the part. You know, you know what I'm saying? So again, he's if he's losing all that weight, something is something is clearly going wrong. Like that's the thing. He's been training for a minute though. Like even since last year, we seen seen through like videos on IG and shit training. Yeah, and it's just so like he's finna to be. He should have always. He should have already been like in the one sixties, right? You know, but it's, it's just. It's but it's frustrating because most people realize like dude was at one point was super talented, but now it's just like his body is breaking down. You know, yeah, he, and, he held down welterweight for a good bit. I mean, he he was the first to unify in a while at one forty seven. You know, but he looked at he looked at it's a joke now. It's kind of a shame. Yeah, it, yeah, that's the thing. Like, I mean, because I, I mean, pretty much. I mean, when this fight, I mean, when the fight was announced, I mean, obviously it's mixed reaction. Some people say, okay, good, this, you know, Tim Zhu, yeah, you know, do this. Other people are like, nah, this ain't the fight. And some people are just like, nah, Thurman really shouldn't be taking on Tim Zhu in his first fight back in 154 after 12 years and stuff like that. And yeah, and I and, and imagine that he suffered this injury in in the ring against Tim Zhu, like. <laughs> Like this, this, this only yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, that because I mean, to me, like I said, because I, mean, I, I already believe that that Keith Thurman was in there was just to be a sacrificial lamb for Tim Zoo because I, I know people want to say nah, you be hating though, like you be hating, like you was, going there. No, I'm not hating, nigga. It's the truth, nigga. Like I mean, I, was, I mean, honestly, that was general consensus. Like you know, from it's what the I general gathered, consensus. No, yeah, no one... hold on, hold on, hold on. But when you when you when you did the Twitter poll, like you had mad people. Um, giving them more of a chance than you had anybody else. Yeah. All the other, uh, well, Mungia, like Mungia, Mungia Davis, the Mungia Canelo. Mungia might have had the most, but I feel like Thurman was like second and third. You know, I mean, was was there that's what I'm saying. He was like second. The, the fuck. He huh? got the call and he took the call. The fuck. Sacri that's sacrifice. That's what I'm saying. It's like niggas is hating. Like that's extra shit. Like, but look, I, you know, you know what it is. I, I'll say this. Um. I feel like maybe the onus is a little bit on PBC. Like, I wanted to use Thurman in the first type of resetting this shit off with Amazon Prime boxing 
he would have been like maybe the second marquee fight in the lineup, like further this down. This should have started with Tank, but yeah, know, I would have just started with or no, or or they could have really just started with them, um, Zoo and somebody else. Mm. Like, yeah, I don't well, know, I just, money in Australia, I, you know, like people are complaining, but Zoo's a, a big draw in, in Australia, you know, it's probably the, the biggest. And they're gonna tune in when he fight here, like, he ain't fighting in no fucking down under no more. They're gonna hey, eat what do what, what do Android salute, salute? They're gonna eat international. <laughs> the paper numbers weren't gonna be shit anyway. Everybody's complaining about it being like, if this was a free card, this would be a fucking extra because I mean, there's like hella championship fights, you know, Roly Pitbull's intriguing. No, it's not. Yeah, you, you still got that. I think it's an intriguing fight. You just be hating. The old well, I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll save all that for next week when we actually do. We're, it's a fight where somebody's fight. gonna get knocked out, so there's that. Yeah, but with Thurman though, it's just like I mean, I, I, they lean on Thurman to be a sacrificial lamb because I mean, I mean, he's a, he was a big underdog on the, on the lines. He's not like a he's not like a mine. He's a big underdog. Like I mean, but he I was, was a name. He was like he was that like big name, and then you know Thurman Thurman ain't no bitch. He gonna go in there and fight. To his level, he gonna give it his all. So, I mean, like it's like it's like King P said, like dude, he got the call. You know, maybe it's more it's more on PBC for making the call, like making him the 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 first name that come up in their head. Like, yo, let's call this nigga who ain't fighting two years, but we gonna call him to be a part of the initial rollout of what we're doing right now. The That's on them. I mean, the general consensus was, you know. Thurman is a sacrificial lamb, and he's gonna get knocked out. I mean, I, I, I was, so I was not, not so now y'all don't see him get knocked down, and y'all mad. Like you can't can't make y'all niggas happy. Y'all, y'all didn't want the fight first of all. He get injured during training, and now they, the fight ain't there no more. And niggas is still mad. Like like damn if you do, damn if you don't. Like what? Well, I mean, number one, I mean, looks like I, I didn't like the fight. Is it black girl lost or shorty owe you for eyes? No, I mean to me, if I should just never been made. Period. Like, no, I'm mean, saying, is it black girl lost or shorty owe you for ice? Yeah, I said it should never be mad. Period. It's, well, it's, well, well, well it's guess what? Well, 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 guess what? Him getting hurt gave us a better fight, and once again, just like him getting hurt helped move the 147 division along, it's helping moving the 154 yeah, uh, division along. So line, you <laughs> are welcome. There's two titles on the yeah, line. Yeah, 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 yeah. Look at look at it like that in the positive way. Yeah. This went from a you know a non a non title fight to two titles on the line. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. And, obviously, yeah. Fundura Fundura got knocked out by Mendoza, who's fighting Bo- Chuck now. It's kind of like weird, but whatever. I mean, technically, it should be Zoo and Boha. Uh, Chuck, you know, in the that would have been yeah. the better fight. That's the best fight you could have made out of that combination. You know, WBC, they, they love but he ain't got the name, the yeah. name Fondora got though. That's w, why WBC loves their Mexicans and money. You know, what I mean, if you can make money, if you if you're a draw, you know, I mean, I'm not saying Fondora is kind of a you know, he's more of a name. You know? Hold on, did Fondora fight since he got knocked out? Nope. No. Oh, so damn. So this the so yo. So oh, okay. I, I see why niggas is mad. Like okay, okay. Yeah. That, that's, also, it, yeah, that's what I said. Mahachuk has, has at least won a fight since he got knocked out all, all, all those a couple years ago. Like he's he's actually I remember great. that. Yo, was that on uh like um what's that shit? Ring, um, Ring City. Was that Ring, City. Ring City, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like weird, Puerto it's Rico weird because it. so Mendoza beat you know Fundora and became WC interim. Um, and then obviously Zoo mm-hmm. defended the title, but no WBC title was on the line, you know, like so then somehow they made the, the fucking this fight. WBC vacant as well, so it's kind of weird, right? I mean, it's it's kind of yeah. The WBC maybe do make, do make it shit up as they go. That's the whole thing. They be like, you know, they be saying like one or the other. Dude, okay, no, this is not gonna be on. Oh, this is gonna be on the line. They be making up shit sometimes, yo. WBC is wilding out sometimes. It's the yeah. WBC. What the fuck did you expect? Yeah, exactly. What, what, what did James Tony say? WBC is we be crooks. Yeah, <laughs> niggas are angry and shit. Yeah, like and to me, like like I say, it was just a waste of time. Like Thurman should have just been put. Yes, in, I am very fucking angry. I'm tired of this. Yeah, I know he's angry because you know this is not like I said. This is Thurman's. The, I mean, and y'all niggas that like y'all was going to the fight. I know I wasn't going to the fight. I'm just I'm just thinking. Yo, King P, you was you was planning on going? No, but I still wanted to see my favorite one of my favorite fighters. So me too. Yeah, I mean, hasn't. I know me in, too. Like damn, like yeah, it hasn't fought. Yeah, y'all like, like, like I mean, I'm I'm. I'm mad, but like, but I don't know. Y'all niggas is like, like disappointed on some like, it's a rap, you know, I'm, I'm like not. someone ruined Santa Claus for y'all or some shit. It's a rap. Yeah, it was just that a waste of time. It's that shit. I mean, it might as well have ruined fucking Santa Claus for me. God <laughs> damn. 
Oh man, no. But, but yeah, no. I mean, I mean, yeah. Because I mean, I also see it too. Plus, you know, Fondora Mendoza, the first fight wasn't that great of a watch outside of the knockout. So I could see them like, yeah, a little maybe the, the styles wasn't styling enough. The you know the classes weren't class enough. So to actually make that too, and as you know, as the, uh, as like a co-main or some shit like that. So you know, so I get it because you know at least Zoo is gonna be fighting a guy who has no type of defense whatsoever. <laughs> so that's perfect for niggas to go start throwing hands. Like, so he's gonna definitely dig to the body. I mean, you know, look at you know, he's gonna invest in the body. He should. I mean, he's fighting a dude that's like six, seven, like, of course. Yeah, and then of course, we got Bahachuk and Mendoza, and they're gonna throw some hands too. Because hold, just- hold on, so so that's the new fight they switched out now. Yep. So you can both check my uh Mendoza. It's official, yeah. Because I just got the email. It, yeah, it, what's it, the hold on? I, I got the lineup. It's actually on the prelims. It, 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 Alright, so hold on. So we honestly getting a better card now. Like hold on, I think I got it. I, I'm yeah. still disappointed Thurman not fighting because I mean, damn. And like you see him fight like every ground, like every leap, leap year now. Except Bahachuk Mendoza is on the is on the prelim part. It's on the prelims. It's on the prelims. Ah. Ah, okay, okay, that's it. And, and then, and then, and then, in this case, Julio Cesar Martinez fight got bumped to the main card. So yeah, that's that's the that's the that's the that's the main card now. Hold on, who he, who he, who's a uh, Martinez fight? Uh, let's see, Angelina Cordova. That was the fight that was supposed to happen in December, but Martinez visa, quote unquote, so, didn't come through. So basically, the um on the free and Am- Amazon portion, I don't know if it's going to be on YouTube, but on the Amazon free, it's going to be Bohachuk, Mendoza, and Elijah Garcia is fighting Kyron Davis, the guy Benavides stock. Oh, um, shit, hold on. Wait, and that's the free shit? And then, like, like, I ain't going to lie. That's that's a good little doubleheader for free. Like. You know, on the main card, you got the Martinez fight, then you got Lara versus Zarafa, which is a, one t- a 160 title. You know, it just, it just, just a horrible fight. fight. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about no damn Lara fight, bro. Yeah, that's gonna be that's gonna be the the, the walk away fight, <laughs> you know, the not pay attention shit. Yeah, that's the smoke break fight. That's the like, let me get something to eat. That's the let me roll up. Let me go to the corner store fight. That's yeah, it's the make a sandwich fight. But yeah, like, but and then like I said, because Zoo Zoo and Fedora's gonna have two belts on. Like, Tim's got to defend his WBO belt, and then, like I said, the WBC is going to be on the line too in the to fill for the vacancy. So it's good. So I mean, yeah, it's it, it's a better fights. I mean, it, it, I mean, it's better fights on paper, or whatever. But it's just like all that time just having Thurman on there. It's just like, yeah. It, 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 I, it, no, it, I ain't cast the gloves off Android. Nah, like everybody keeps talking I, about his fire. I, I did, and my my thing is because it, it, it focused on on Zoom and Pitbull more, right? It didn't seem like that. Yeah, it was on Zoo, Thurman, Rolly, and Cruz. But now, if, I, don't if like about, on, on I give two too. shits about no fucking Rolly on the episode. You should be glorified. But it definitely seemed like they they were uh, marketing Rolly and Pitbull more than Thurman Zoo. On yeah, the, of course on, they did on two episodes. Yeah, no, that, yeah, they did. But you know, th- like like I said, I'm not trying to you know anything that glorifies Rolly that duck. I I I, I give two shits about that motherfucker is a duck. Well, okay, I mean, Rolly seems like a good. I've heard a good story. He's, he's a, a fucking sense. coward. <laughs> I heard he's a good dude. I mean, I heard he's a, you know a decent dude and stuff. That know, motherfucker is like, I don't give a shit. That nigga's a coward, bro. I I give two times. That's why I give two shits about a fucking gloves off on fucking Roly. Nigga shouldn't even have that belt, anyways. I mean, that's yeah. that's the shit I'm mad about. Like, yeah, uh, tell him why you're bad. You and mad, then you have huh? fucking Cruz, who you know who see who who doesn't who does the least to actually get get himself a big fight, which kills. Yeah, like nah, bro, like. You out here, you ducking Shakur. You don't want to fight no anyone's no smoke to fight fucking Rolly at one forty for about you. Nah, let's let's see if Shakur fight um that's uh, Williams and Payda. That's what I want to see, like, because I seen on Twitter they was keep they keep um like uh with Bob Arum and Gold and um what's yeah, the Oscar. Yeah, no, Oscar. It's, 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 yeah, because uh, Shakur has a date for July six, and if they and if they make that fight, shit, nigga, I'm putting in a fucking uh credential for that shit. I'll go back to Newark for that. And I don't in Newark is grimy, but I'll go back to that. Yeah, well, we'll send your ass to the trenches. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking Newark. I mean, I just have, I guess I'll be smarter this and time. I'll, 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 just, I'll be smarter though. I'll get a hotel near the fucking arena instead of taking tickets somewhere. You know, going elsewhere. <laughs> no, nah, we want you on the subway. I just think the Rolly Pitbull fight is intriguing because the side. You know, like you expect Pitbull to um, you know, land a crazy haymaker, but you know, uh, Rolly's with. It's Mal Sias now, you know, back with Solace. So we'll see. Hopefully, maybe, you know, 
He's been, he was with him before and he wasn't progressing. What <laughs> He, I saw, you, you, saw his, you saw his fucking boxing on that gloves off. That shit looked fucking elementary. Are you kidding me? <laughs> hey, I didn't. I, I didn't. I think Tank was kind of you know setting traps, but people think Roly was out, you know beating Tank. I'm just saying. But he, but he, he was. but he regressed in the. I mean, it was close, but he regressed in the Barroso fight. He looked trash. You know, I mean, he's heating up before that bullshit. No, happened. that's that's how he usually fights. I mean, the Barroso fight because it, this is the thing. Like, nah, nah. See, look. He was fighting above his level against Tank because he had something to prove against Tank. Remember, Tank kept clowning him, like saying, "Hey, like Roly's the type of nigga you see at the gym that that's not good, and he's doing weird bullshit." And like, remember, he was clowning this nigga. He was hey, making him like, fighter. Tank, you know, Tank is a man of the little words, and and, and, he, and the one of the press conference, he's like, "You just a dumbass fighter," and everybody was laughing, you know. Yeah, like he he kept like sunning this dude. So of course, like so. The motivation is different. That's why Roly was really trying to box him. From then, it's like he tries to box but his thing when he fought that old nigga Barossa. He appeared, he's still in the boxing, trying to like prove he can box. Like that's what's and, fucking his, I mean, his old head up. A, old man stopped a, a, a quote unquote respected British fighter in the first round. I'm just saying, like, I mean, yeah, after the fact, fight. but but remember, like, Roly, that fight wasn't even supposed to happen. I mean, really got the he got the what the gift against um, was it Marinas? You know, he got the, that that yeah, Marinas. Yeah, Marina, yeah. yeah. Marina, yeah. Marina, I mean, yeah. he's he actually won fights before. I've, you know, he's he's. You know, I'm not saying like it's not like you know. What I'm saying I'm not saying he's he's, he's not a like, he's probably the worst champion in a long time. But I'm saying he's like, capable. But like dudes is giving him looks because of like he he like mildly. Yeah, that Barroso fight should have been that Barroso fight is his home. actual level. That's why I keep like you know. People say, "Oh, he could fight," but no, he can't. Barroso was you. Barroso had him shook. Like, I mean, I feel Tank was, yeah. Tank was giving him. Tank, Tank was giving up rounds to you know test the power and and kind of find that. But track. this one, you see, like when you say, like when you're boxing, like whether you giving up the round or he earned the round, somebody got to win the round or lose the round. They get like and Barroso, yeah, I mean, I mean, the intentions don't around. matter. Really, was, was close. Cold. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm just saying like. He kept up with Tank for a little bit. Like he, I mean, Roly is pretty trash, but I mean, eh. we'll yeah. But so he Tank got him out of there fairly early. If you he know, beats Cruz, is he vindicated? Like, if he beats Pitbull Cruz, Pat, will you give him any props or no? No. Okay. No, because I, I want to yeah, see. Like, can't please y'all niggas. Yeah, I want to see. Like, like Varios, you know, he Varios and uh, Roly's is on on that boy shit list. One forty <laughs> has real. Killers. Yeah, like I can't take Pat serious. One forty has real killers. Cruz is not one of them. You yeah, gotta true. be a killer. That, you just true. gotta I mean, be a solid. Jesus is a killer. Like what, what, whatever, whatever. Not, whatever. Mean, this whole, this whole, that whole card is fucking gay. Whatever. I don't care. <laughs> see, I'm, I'm yeah, y'all think it's salty I'm, today. I ain't gonna lie. See, no, he's I'm breaking down the notches of this card. P just hates us off rip. I mean, I watch pro. I watch you know club cards. I'm cool with this, you know. So I mean, it's not the greatest card. I wish it'd be though. No, I just I ain't gonna lie. I feel like like boxing been kind of like hit or miss. Like there's been like good fights, but like like the big name fights ain't really been there yet. Like it's the it's the damn the B levels, just like the B year. level fights. Yeah. Like even the B level, like like I mean, Bayer Jonas was that this year? Um, was, that, was that December? Was that this year? Nigga, that was this year, ain't it? I mean, the best fight yeah. this year was was the Ford Odebeck fight. But I feel like I was thinking about it yesterday. That's the yeah. only really, you know. Nah, you had a couple more fights I mean, that were real more. good. But I mean, but I'm saying, but they're like the mid tier. They not like they're the B tier. They not like the S tier elite they're not, type. They're shit. not the A level fight. They're not the A level. Yeah, fight. like that. That's so what that's, that's all I'm saying. Like, like the year ain't really just like, mm, like. I mean, it's off, March. I mean, so, I mean, it's it's March. So there's plenty of time for things to develop or whatever, but. At least, like Nigga, I said, March is like a quarter of the year done. <laughs> I mean, no like, word, dude, dude, remember 2019, March, we was already cooking by then. Yeah, we're yeah but, the, we, but it wasn't like the, any of the A levels. It was just mostly, it was the B levels that were cooking. And then the A levels start cooking shortly. Yeah, but but think about it. By, by the time, in March in 2019, we already had Clan Ukateki, Broner Pacquiao, Bottle Jack, um, what's that nigga who be headbutting dudes? 
Marcus Brown, but they're not Marcus Brown. Brown. Well, Pacquiao, Pacquiao Brown wasn't even close to a fight of the year. But it was a big fight, though. I'm just saying, like, yeah. I'm saying you had names, you had big elite matchups, mm -hmm. and then you remember you end up having Laura Castaño. Yeah. Um. Um. Uh, what else? Um, wait, 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 which Pacquiao fight? Did, did we have Peterson and Yipin yet? Yeah. Yeah. That was. Yeah. That was I, I, nigga, I, I, that the fuck what I'm on, talking about? Nigga, that's March. Hey, look look at all I just named up till March. Hey, well, you're talking about Pac-Man Thurman. No, nigga, 2019, nigga. It's wrong not, year. No, not wrong year. With wrong month. <laughs> I mean, yeah, wrong month. All right, my bad, my bad. I thought, yeah. Yeah, yeah no, it, but yeah, because I mean, it's take. I mean, I mean, because I mean, obviously, because PBC's, you know, doing what it's doing right now. It's in the in state. So right now, it's just top rank and Golden Boy and Matchroom or whatever. So it's like. You got, you know, they got, they got to cook. <laughs> so, I mean, you know, they're holding it down. But PBC gets to Peter's pew, and like uh, LB thought, I was clowning, but I'm serious. Like, the, like the buzz whenever PBC start, you know, starts announcing fights or any fuckery, you know, I listen to the Boxing Voice every day and shit. Like, you know, and it's a pretty big, you know, podcast. People call in. It's like it, it just gains more traction. The shows are longer. You know, you see it on Twitter. I'm just saying, like, when it comes to you know box office shit right now, you know, PBC, you know. Keeps they dominate. Yeah. I mean, yeah, they got the names. They got the reputation for making the biggest events. Like they, I mean, they cross over in the sport. They get clowned about their prospects, which you know they don't get the blue chips. But I mean, you know, Wilder, Spence, Tank, you know, I dude. Mean, like, like, I right, real talk. I'll say this, like, like, cause you know, y'all, y'all niggas know how much I be fucking hard at these parks, training gyms everywhere. I even fucking training when. When I'm training and random people come up to me and they mention boxer names, nine out of ten times it's a fucking name from PBC. They'll say, Oh, what do you think about Thurman and Spence? What do you think about Spence and this nigga? Spence and who? That like the only time is someone that's not like a PBC name is either gonna be Clarissa Fields, Fury, or AJ. Or 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 Jake Paul, which I get. Or, Jay, or Jake Paul, uh, yeah, Jake Paul, yeah, that's uh, another. I mean, one. My, yeah. A couple of my group chat, a couple of my boys, like they were, you know, talking about Tay Fimo Shakur, and those were letdowns. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, they were kind of talking yeah, about. Yeah, like, but, but, but niggas ain't coming up to me mentioning them names. Like, dude, dude, I be, nah, I be out, motherfuckers. Well, hey, I, I, mean, I be hey, getting the Spence. I'll give you Crawford. Well, Haney, well no, Haney and Ryan. I mean, Pat, uh, Shutter, LB, uh, yeah, Haney yeah, Ryan. yeah, Ryan Garcia, yeah. Haney and Ryan are coming. Dude, dude, fucking David Benavidez. Then remember I told you the nigga at the LA Fitness was asking when I'm training one of my dudes and um he's like yo so you think he's ready for uh Benavidez and I'm like the fuck like which one David I'm like nigga get the fuck out of here like but I'm like yo like that's a compliment though motherfucker thought you good enough to fight fucking David Benavidez but he'd get your ass killed if this kid was managing you to like this nigga but. PBC, like, niggas be knowing the PBC names, though. That's what it is. Like, it's either I play ball at the, I play ball with this uh, Asian nigga. He was like 6'2. Like, yeah, that's odd as fuck right there. But, um, I, he knew who Inoue was. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I ain't trying to typecast niggas. Like, I mean, nigga, and it's after that. <laughs> that's like saying, like, you don't know who Jackie Chan is? Nigga? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just saying, like, there's niggas out here like 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 the women, the women, like the women, I mean, they they know who Clarissa Shields is. Like nine out of ten times, they know who Clarissa Shields is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nah, I, I got a friend I go back with. And yeah, niggas know who Crawford is. It, Canelo, yeah, like Crawford Canelo. But yeah. other than that, everybody is always PBC. Like a nigga really gotta know boxing if he fucking gonna mention damn Shakur Stevenson and whoever the fuck else y'all wanna name. Tiafimo, the top thing. Uh, yeah, Tiafimo. Yeah, I'd be, I'd be like a real Florida nigga, like, because, you know, he, he be down here, so yeah. Because, you know, people were saying PBC was broke, the Esper, all that bullshit. I mean, but now their fights are on the PBC. You know, I, I wish they had a proper rollout like they used to, but, you you know, there's like, you know, the Spence Crawford fight. There's a lot of fights on the, the, prime, the prime app, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, if, they, if they're successful with these shows, you know, Prime will probably, you know, do a little more for them, it seems like. But so. see, now, the thing, though, with this now the, for this first Prime show is now they lost a headliner, so it's gonna be like yeah. now they have to figure out 
first of all, it's still pay per view. How much yeah. this is actually going to cost? Because niggas not going to pay eighty dollars to see Tim from Dora. Like that's <laughs> out here, but Australia. I, mean, I don't know how it's going to be. Australia's going to. I mean, I mean, like the card itself would. Yeah, be, but nigga, we ain't in Australia though. We we don't, we don't care about the damn how many kangaroos by this fucking pay per view, nigga. <laughs> no, it's not going to sell. I mean, out here, it's not going to probably do 50K, to be honest. I mean, you know, like. I don't, I don't care 50, how many fucking wallabies buy this. We're not going to hear the. You know, whenever PBC or, you know, the pay per view numbers are bad, we never hear, you know, even the Haney program, we didn't hear a proper number. When it's good, we'll, we'll hear the number, right? Well, yeah. I, mean, what, I, mean, what, I mean, what should be, I mean, it should just be like a free rollout or whatever. Like, it, it should, be. should be pay per view. Like, the, 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 this card is the equivalent of what HBO would put out back in the day, you know, uh, you know. World Championship boxing at night on Saturdays. What does Slim Charles say? Yeah, but those are the old days. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> we need to go back to them old days. Yeah, right. <laughs> I, I wish. <laughs> and then, nigga, I wish, bro. That's that's <laughs> what a wire the greatest fucking show, nigga. Well, it's over. I, I wish. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, them 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 old days. We did. So yeah, hey, hey, pilot. You remember when we used to get them damn um them PBC fights on Showtime where it's like the triple headers, four fucking big time fights. The Showtime triple headers, you know, were damn good. Yeah, niggas used to eat with them shits, but those them old, those yeah. them old times. But now those are the old days too. You know what I'm saying? Like I wish they would have like uh, a second network to you know have the guys like Antoine Russell and uh, Brandon Lee. Just you just those those younger guys that should be headlining like Morel. Like like put like if, if they had like a I don't know a, like another streaming app. You know, that's Morel headlining. Oh look, know. man. Real talk, I said this before. These niggas been making millions of dollars. They should have been developed another step, uh, uh, platform to develop these other fighters and, and boxer. That's the thing. Like boxing as a whole, don't really be thinking about expansion like that. Yeah, yeah. But I trust all like, him. They, I mean, you know, people. They, they really class. don't like because Amazon ain't enough for all of these guys. No, it's not enough. You know, they fight once a year, and the purses are big. But I do want to say the interest in boxing is at its greatest. Right now, and it's like I don't feel like we're getting enough fights. But I do like you literally say, got enough boxing to be on like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. You know what I mean? Yeah, but I, I do think you know, like it's, it's a good sign that you know they made Canelo Munguia, and supposedly the Benavidez is going to be the co-main on the tank fight. That that's that's damn good. I mean, you know, I'm just saying, like, yeah. And Edwin De Los Santos and Arreo supposedly is going to be on that too. That's you know, that's going to be that's solid. You know, I, I'll, I'll pay for that. I'll pay for Frank versus Tank. I mean, we're we are gonna pay for Frank versus Tank. Like, ain't, ain't that shit ain't all free, nigga. Like, shit. No, I'm saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. we're on air, right? Wink, wink. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna holla at you on that one. Yeah, yeah. I mean, was, two top five. Yeah, the comments, in, y'all, y'all niggas ain't like resting. Like, my goodness. No, people climb Tank. But but... Tank was a backup plan for Mayweather so he could stop Haney Shakur from being undefeated. He also signed the 126 fighter. To stop in a way from being undefeated. Dr. Floyd gonna get crazy. Susu will be the one to test in a way. Y'all niggas gotta stop. Well, hold on. Do y'all think Susu could keep up with uh, Otebek, the loss to Ray Ford? Let Shadowworth let him finish talking. Nah, he, I, what the fuck? I wasn't having no problem. In a way, need to go to the States to fight Bruce Carrington. I'm not on the in a way hype train. He ain't getting hyped though. Like, what? What else he need to do to prove the like? In a way, does in a way gets hyped. Nick, shut your ass up. No, what are you talking about? He gets hyped. Yeah. Miss bitch, calm down a little. Enjoy the show. I know, like, shorty bugging. Like, what nah, the fuck? It's good engagement. Mayweather is clever. Well, obviously, no. Nah, like, I, I'm assuming I wasted next- tickets to see Thurman first. Man, you know damn well you ain't about to. You wasted tickets. You you was gonna see that fight. I'm not a I'm not a gambling man, but I do want to say on on Miss Bitch's part about the Rolly Ryan. I I I, I bet hundred dollars at least that uh, Tank will, will fight the winner of that for a one forty title. You know, like you know. I, I hold on. So what's what's the expiration on this? On what? On how long for for this bet to be good? Because like, if you don't fight him in this year or next year, is that shit just open until like okay? He fight them niggas in twenty twenty seven or something. I'm worried tanks tanks purse. You know, like I hope he fights a second time. You know, this year, but I'm I'm you know, like, I don't know because these PBC fighters are fighting once a year. It seems like you know it's, it's fucked up. Yeah, because they don't know what they don't know. But I guarantee you, Tank yeah. will fight the Roly Pitbull winner though. So he'll be a three you know four whatever three division champ legitimately a three division champ. 
Yeah, especially but, if the people win. Yeah, but it's pretty much it's like he's not. I mean, again, like I, I mean, I, Tank fighting Cruz again or Roly again absolutely does not appeal to me in any fucking way. No, <laughs> because these guys aren't doing anything. These guys are nothing. He take as before. Tank should be fighting better fighters. Instead of fucking around with fucking Tank runs the top five winner. Yeah, Blazing Killer, he agrees with you. Tank, Tank is most death fighting the winner. It's written. When y'all keep saying this shit is written, like oh, it's just know. something but he I'm would saying, do. Frank, Frank Ron's a top five lightweight. Like I mean, it's a it's a good fight. You know what I'm saying? It's a good fight. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm tired of uh, Tank needs Tank. See, Tank needs to either holler at fucking Haney or Matias or some shit. Like I want I want killers. In that, like, not, uh, I'm not, I'm tired of what Cruz is not a killer. Rowley sure as hell is not a killer. So I I need that. These the, these are the type of fights that Tank needs to be on. Like. Like Frank is a star. Frank Martin is a star. But I want. Oh no, let's not, nah, nah, let's we not gonna do that. Like, cause y'all kind of like his tank light skin. So I know y'all niggas still got like Thurman salt from him. Like y'all trying to sprinkle on this dude. Let's hold all these motherfuckers accountable. Let's make sure Shakur Stevenson get him a good fight too. Let's make sure Teofimo Lopez, Teofimo Lopez, get him into a good fight. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I, mean, yeah, I had no problem with him fighting. The Tank got his fight with Frank Martin. Like, let's see what these other niggas do. Yeah. I hear, Let's see if Shakur get that Zapata fight. Yeah, I, I, I didn't say anything about segue? Lopez, Lopez <laughs> and fucking... And, um, Jermaine that Lopez. is a good segue, actually. Yeah, yeah go yeah. ahead. <laughs> a segue into what? Well, I don't know. Um, Zapata versus uh, Golden Boy, uh Maxi Hughes. Nigga, we have a. Did, what did we create a poll for this? Oh, yeah, uh, pause. Yeah. Oh so yeah, yeah. My bad. Like, shit, yeah, y'all can drag it. Hold on, I got it. Uh, hold on. Yeah, yeah. All right, hold on. Damn, y'all. Yeah, you know what? That, if we was playing basketball, I felt like that's a Mario Chalmers type of turnover. Like y'all niggas let him dribble down court and just throw it out of bounds. <laughs> nah, I scored the basket. There's just time on the clock. That's yeah, right. But um, anyways. <laughs> So there's an impromptu poll that we made since today was – I heard a lot of Keith Thurman talk. So we made a poll regarding Keith Thurman because um, – just because, you know, we want to talk about it. So we did ask if Keith Thurman were to retire today and never fight again in his career, would he be a Hall of Famer? We got 72 votes. God, about, dog. Really? About six days left with a resounding 69% saying no. 18% saying yes, 13% saying not first valid, but yes, eventually, you know. Um, I mean, I mean, hey, I mean, it's, it's, it's the truth, nigga. Like, I mean, here, here's my thing. I wanted to get this out real quick. Yeah. I mean, Arturo Gotti is a great, good fighter, two division champ. He's had wars, he's had classics. I don't know. Thurman, I feel like Thurman's, you know, Danny Garcia and Porter wins are better than any Arturo Gotti win. Um, oh my god, we can't keep using the fucking Gotti thing. Like Rocky, oh, hold on, let me finish. Rocky Balboa was in the motherfucking Hall of Fame, bro. Rocky yeah, but Balboa. he's not in there as a boxer, nigga. He's in there as because you know they have a wing for niggas it's like, like in the WWE Hall of Fame. I don't care, bro. I'm just saying we have the standards of, of fighters 20 years ago is not the same. Eventually, we're gonna have to let these guys in. We can't water guys. down the fucking Hall of Fame just because well, you, like, there's certain guys. Okay. Like Chocolate Tito, Inoue, Triple G, Crawford, you know, those guys, yeah, are Hall of Fame locks. Nigga, Victor Chin has a better case of being in the Hall of Fame than These guys Thurman. aren't supposed to be in there. I'm just saying there's these new age of fighters in about a decade with the, everybody being stripped about it. Who's going to be in the Hall of Fame? I mean, Bobby Jack, Bobby Jack has a better case of probably being in the Hall of Fame than Keith Thurman. These are new, like yo, how about I right, pilot? I, I know what you're trying to say, but like yo, <laughs> I mean, in my talk, opinion, I know how about I'm... how about niggas just actually just be better? It's like why we gotta lessen the like why we gotta lower the goal for motherfuckers. Okay. Tim Bradley to... was good. Tim Bradley was good, but, but so they said so they could dunk now. Yeah, yeah, hear me out real quick, real quick. Tim Bradley deserves Hall of Fame. Okay, I'm not mad at that, but a guy like Sean Porter, two a two time WBC, a two time welterweight champion. You know, Danny Garcia had three three belts at 140, won the belt at 147. Keith Thurman, you know, Spence. These guys are should. I mean, it's not the same, bro. It's not the same. So I think it's not the same. Guys, it's not the same, Poppy. Whatever. We don't want to hear that shit. God <laughs> damn it. Well, what'd you vote, P? What'd you vote? As of now, no. And you know me, I fuck with Thurman, but no, maybe maybe tomorrow. I'll ask me tomorrow, and maybe I'll say eventually on his fifth time. But not as of now. <laughs> Ask me, ask me tomorrow. Don't ask me that shit today. Damn, y'all niggas is angry tonight. My goodness, well, I, 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 I said yes. 
Can you make a case? Chad angry, y'all angry. Shit. LB, LB, you voted yes, right? Yeah, I voted yes. Fuck can you, that. Can you give like a you know support as to why? I'm just wondering. I'm just, like you know, can you? Because when you're from Florida, it's like you got my support already. Right. Like, you're Florida you like skin. Because right. uh, Andre Berto isn't going into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> I mean, Sean I mean, Porter's getting to the yeah. Vegas Hall. You know, Sean Porter just announced. He's in the Hall of Fame for Haitian niggas who could throw uppercuts. Like Sean Porter just announced he's going into the Vegas Hall of Fame. Like, that's you know? good enough for me. Like he was, he's a world champion. Like, like how, how many fucking world champs are coming from fucking Connecticut, nigga? Uh, you have some. I just think if you've, <laughs> you know, yeah. one, how many how many fucking world champs coming from fucking Vegas, pilot? Well, hold on, hold on, Pete. Let me ask you this real quick, Pete. Of current fighters, is there one fighter that's kind of like borderline Hall of Fame right now? That like, give me your barometer real quick, Pete. Get, uh, uh, give me a name of a guy that like 50-50. That may make the Hall of Fame, but like, yeah, this is questionable. Like, God you know. damn it! I'm trying to do this fucking fantasy draft, and you're making me fucking think. God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> no, this nigga's like so agitated. God damn, nigga. Like- my nigga is Aggie tonight. Stop making me nigga like that. Damn, bro. Like, get the Anna out of your system. Like, damn. Like, you know, for me, it's Wait, like, get this nigga alone. Let him do his own uh, fantasy no, football. I'm still, I'm still, I'm still there. But just fantasy don't baseball. Me, don't, don't ask me questions. They're going to make me think a lot. Please. <laughs> it's, not the it's not the hard It's not even the hard like, <laughs> Anyway, I think it's Spence. I, you know, because I, I always hear yesterday. Get the fuck out of here. Three belt champ, you know what I'm saying? Second longest world tour. I know the, no. the range. Yeah, you know, I'm just saying, like you know, there's certain guy that they, you know, Spence should do more. I can realistically, Spence should win a belt at 154 at least. You know what I'm saying? That all right, who, 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 okay, this, this, this one for you. All right, cause you saying all that. Who got the best chance of Spence? Who does Spence have the best chance of beating for a belt? Uh, do do you pick anybody for him to be the favorite over? Um. See, I, my, my thing was if Spence were to fight a uh, Fundora Bohachuk winner originally for the WBC belt, J- Jamel dropped. I think he'd be. A, I think he could be. You know, be a lot of dog against both those guys. Um, against who? Against because Bohachuk and Fundora well, both were, were supposed to fight for a WBC um, title. You know, because Jamel dropped. But hold on, them niggas is fighting like what next week? Like I'm talking about like anybody else. I'm thinking. Well, I'm thinking of the belts. So right now, Majumov got a belt. The guy Majumov got a belt. Do y'all think that yes, guy Majumov? Spence can't beat Spence. I don't well, think Spence. Yeah, that we saw Majumov with the overhand. You think Spence could beat him or no? Majumov? I don't think Spence could beat anyone a top nigga at 154 anymore. Like not even one of them. Not, even he messed up with a B level with power. Like, Moving. Okay. That's what he real shit. What you, right, you know what? Fuck this. I I I got you one. I got you one. I fucking got you one. Oh, pilot disappeared. <laughs> Ah, damn, dude. Really? Like, yeah, I, mean, I was going to say, um, I mean, that's the, I, mean, I, I mean, I know, I mean, I know he wants to think, you know, he wants the modern fire to be in there, but they're, they're not good examples. Thurman, Porter. I was going to say, yo, because Spence beat Mario Barrios. <laughs> yes. Yeah, he, he should be able to beat Barrios. If he struggles with them, then that, you know, that nigga's through. <laughs> that's all I want to know. That's all I want to know. Yeah. But this is the thing, like, I mean, we have Jamel Charlo. Jamel Charlo is actually has the resume to actually be considered now at Hall of Fame. Although, like I said, the Canelo took a lot of his his luster away, you know, like like I said, you know. But Jamel Charlo, at the end of the day, is still like he's he's Hall of Fame bound because he's putting a lot of work at one fifty four. The niggas Terry Norris with his resume almost like so it's like. My fault. I, I got, you also Jamel. Yeah, like I mean, Jamel, like that—that that is a person that you could say is Hall of Fame bound or whatever he's, in this yeah, current yeah, generation. Yeah. And he's I don't a, think he's a lock. He's a lock. I, I mean, yeah, again, he's, like, he's I mean, absolute lock. Spence and the, cause they're all, you know, because Char- Jamel Charles has been actually like he's he's built up his over a long period of time, you know. Whereas Spence needs a little bit more. Porter okay. doesn't. Porter doesn't have enough wins in his career. Yeah, he doesn't really have long, hasn't man. had a real time champ. Okay, real, he's a real win in quite some time. Out of the top heavyweights, Usyk obviously Usyk's a lot probably. Usyk a- is a, a lot. Two division, you know, two time champ Fury. Like, who do you think? Even Wilder. Do y'all think any of the guys will make the Hall of Fame? I'm just wondering. 
Wilder should not make the Hall of Fame in any team. Wilder should not make the Hall of Fame at all. I think he'll eventually get in personally, but he he, he shouldn't. He doesn't have his. I feel like he will, though. I'm just saying, I think he will eventually. Like, there's no way to put Wilder in the Hall of Fame over someone like Oliver McCall is like, you know, or Chris Bird is is just asinine. It's, it's, we, we shouldn't go to the Hall of Fame at all. He he shouldn't, but again, I, I think he'll probably get in, but. Like, uh, like, like, I mean, I know because uh, uh, niggas don't like it when I say about Wilder's resume. But if you compare yeah. his resume with niggas from like, you know, you know, two heavyweight generations ago, his resume doesn't add up. Yeah, because he because he knocked out a lot of C level fighters in Luis Ortiz. You know, that, that's the only thing. Like, you can't put him in the Hall of Fame because he has ten defenses, and his best effort in the, in the title defense is a draw, which he should have lost against Fury. Yeah, so, I mean, I just think again, being the face of American boxing, uh, heavyweight boxing for uh, almost a decade, and the, the you know the knockouts. How about AJ and Fury? Are they both locked? Or no? They're not locked yet. They they need to do. They both need to do. A Fury, if Fury probably beats Usyk, he I mean he probably would be the marquee heavyweight of his generation. Is, is Usyk already Hall of Fame? I mean Hall of Famer? Right? Yes, Usyk is absolutely Hall of Fame. I mean, he's probably second best cruiserweight, really. I mean, yeah, U- U- Usyk, is, Usyk is an absolute lock right now. The, uh, I, I can't pick apart Usyk's resume. I'd be stu- it, It'd be stupid to, to to actually downplay him. You know, it's like because he do want all his belts on the road. <laughs> you know, no fighter has, no fighter has done that currently. That's one of his all his belts he's had on the road. Nigga became undisputed on the road, and he picked up three belts. On the he's the second, you know, the second undisputed cruiserweight, you know, Holyfield. You know, him and Holyfield are the greatest cruiserweight. You know, yeah. But it, that's what I'm saying. It's like you know, when you do that, like I mean, you when you can't pick apart a resume, like then you know it's solid. You know it's something special. That's, think, that's why you can pick apart Spence. You can pick apart Danny Garcia. You can pick apart Wilder. Like, like you know, like like the wild, like the Hall of Fame shouldn't be lowered. Simply because fighters are not putting in the effort they need to be to actually have these Hall of Fame careers. It's the nature of boxing in the era we're in, man. I mean, you know, th- th- real quick, think about it. Mike Tyson fought, you know, 10, 12 times a year in the eight. I'm just saying, like, it's, you know, 10, 20, 10 12 times. It just slowly became from 10 to, to eight to four to one time now. I'm just, so it's just it's fucked up, but I mean. Yeah, but Mike Tyson is a two time champion. He's un- He wrapped up a division. He has no, no, wins no, Mike, I'm over. Not- a lot of champions. I'm not calling Mike Tyson. I'm not. I'm not calling him. I'm not. Like, this is the thing. Like he, Mike is in the whole. I mean, I know most people think he's oh, he's overrated, and you know he has an overrated aspect, but he's accomplished far more than the heavyweights in his generation right now. Maybe Usyk might be the one that actually, you know, kind because of. You said he's a two-time yeah. champ. I mean, AJ might be a three. You know, I think Lennox Lewis, you know, is a three-time. I think AJ could fight Hergovich for IBF and become a three-time champ. I mean, yeah, yeah. Like I mean, like I said, but the thing is, though, it's their careers are not over yet. Like that's the thing. Like they're still building on there, but like they're, they're, they're uh, it's not like they're like a monster. Like a monster is Hall of Fame bound already. Like he's he's absolutely Hall of Fame. You know, Devin Haney is trending towards. He has to keep. He has to keep, he has to keep putting in work. You know, like I said, because I mean, he's not, he's 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 putting in work. I think by the time it's all said and done, mm-hmm. uh, I think he definitely will be in the Hall of Fame. Oh my God, my fucking Hall! Oh, you know. Yeah, I, I think, be, <laughs> I think when it comes to, to Haney, I see. Yeah. I, I, when I saw Haney, I was watching. You know, I was thinking this guy's going to eventually be a one fifty four. You know, we'll see if he comes on sketch, But I feel like he'll be a welterweight champ and probably test the waters at fifty four eventually. It's a big kid in twenty five. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I mean, there's like time, but it's just like the whole. My thing is though. Yeah, I mean, yes, there are people in the Hall of Fame that probably don't belong there, and, and that's not the norm. It's like, you know. There's a lot of boxers that, that aren't in there, you know, smaller weight guys. I can't think of names. I think Chris, yeah, I like, think Chris, I mean, I think Chris John's in the Hall of Fame. I mean, you know, I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of Chris John. I think he's in the Hall of Fame. I'm just saying, like. He's not in the Hall of Fame. Chris John is definitely not in the Hall of Fame. Chris John better not be in the Hall of Fame. God damn it. <laughs> he's not in the Hall of Fame at all. But, you know, when it comes to locks, like, you know. Um, Wait a minute. Yeah, I because I, I mean I was like yeah. Chris Judge should never be in the Hall of Fame. Let me see. But I mean, when it comes to locks, right? You know, like Crawford in a way, you know, recently retired Triple G, Canelo, their locks were Hall of Fame, you know. Um, yeah. But <laughs> look, look how long they've been at this, but look how long they've been at it though. Like yeah, yeah, who who's trending? Well, see, see, my bad. See, I was just like my students just left, so okay. we were chilling. So that's why I had to, you know, be out real quick. So um I don't know if y'all mentioned this. I don't know what y'all said, but if y'all on the same t- topic, it's I'm looking at it like um 
who's on that trajectory to be in Hall of Fame? We mentioned Haney, but I think you're, you're just a second ago. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, Haney's there, but it's like who yeah. else? Of young guys, I think like I mean, if, if we do like projections right now, right? Like you know, um, I think a guy like like maybe Bam might eventually. And you know, as we keep, yeah. you know, you know, if he gets past Estrada. Oh uh, yeah. yeah, you know what? It's funny you fucking mentioned Bam, son, because this new nigga I, I met training boxing. I think Sunday at the park. Bam was somebody he mentioned, and this kid was like 19. So wow, that's that's somebody outside of PBC. <laughs> but he did mention Jake Paul and Tyson too. It's like this. Yeah, yeah. So he yeah, he like he, I mean, yeah. he's on the up and up with boxing more. Bam gotta get past Estrada. If he gets past Estrada, like the only guy that beats him at 118 down is Jonto Nakatani. That's another guy. Jonto is like a three division champ already. I think he's another guy yeah. that you know there's, yeah. there's there's young guys that have potential that you know. Yeah, yeah, Haney and Bam, they definitely on their way. Like, yeah. 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 I, I would say Haney and Bam got a better uh, yeah. uh, Hall of Fame claim than fucking um, uh, Spence and Thurman. I see guys, you know, like future pound for pound is Bam, you know, Shakur and Boots too, but they're, like, their careers, Boots is just it, now all inactive. Now you got a belt, he's inactive, you know what I'm saying? Like, Yeah, Boots, Boots has a long way to go. Shakur yeah. needs... To fight, I, think, I, think I mean, Shakur's three division champ. His wins are kind of like, eh, like really. Joe Gonzalez is one of his best. Yeah, wins. I ain't gonna lie. Like for three division, Shakur is like for three division. Joe Gonzalez top five win. Come on now. I mean, look when you look at Shakur, you say okay, yeah, like you said, Joe jo Valdez, Herring. Uh, that's what three the right Rob there was, was decent. The Robs, I mean, you know, it's a decent name, I guess. Okay, Robson is four. Was five. Who we missing? Um. Oh shit. Yeah, that's why I'm saying like Shakur needs more people. But, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah like, that's right. <laughs> but know, you know, he don't even have a top five win. Three division top champ, four. you know. But I'm just saying, like, you could you could argue Tank is a better collection of names in him. I'm just saying, you know, like, even you know, Tank's like a you know two time champ. All these niggas could do more. But see, I feel like a Frank Martin's like a better name than a lot of shit Shakur Stevenson got. Yeah, yeah. So I feel like Mario Barros is, is, is a better name because I look at it like this. Like when's agent great, yeah. When's agent great. Hmm? The wind's agent great. He's a WBC interim at, at Yeah, Washington. like the, the wind's agent and it's like the matchups itself, like are these niggas beating guys that are physically imposing like that? Mm, that's true. Yeah. Like we ain't see nobody we ain't see Shakur Stevenson handle a nigga with with uh, Mario Barrio's uh, physical dimensions. No, no. And it's weird. I used to think, you know, Shakur would be a nigga that would be able to go up the 147 eventually just to pound, you know, one of those old throwback He's probably too scary for me to have that confidence. He, no. no, I know, but I'm just saying, you know, when it, you know, like like guys like Cotto, Floyd, Oscar, you know, those guys that started at lower weights to go up to 147. I, I saw that in Shakur, but lately, I don't know. I don't know about his chin. But I'm just saying there's, you know, certain guys like Haney. Haney's a guy that's going to top out at 154. Pause, you know what I mean? Um, yeah. You know, but uh, you know, so, yeah, but so, Henny looked big. Pause. Like. Yeah, he, uh, yeah. When I saw him the first time, when I you know a few years ago, I was like, "This kid's gonna be at one fifty four eventually." You know, you know, welterweight. You know, what I mean, easily. Um, he's twenty five. You know what I mean? Yeah, but at least with Shakur, like, like I said, as we mentioned before, like you know, we just hope now that the fight with William Zapata comes off. It's not happening. And of course, that now we can say I do a lot for his career, like. Yeah. And a lot of people think Shakur like really beats this dude easily, but I'm like, look, I want to see it. I don't care about if he beats him easily, hypothetically. Like, yeah, because because like, last that night, nigga Zapata was he that offensive footwork, like he like Shakur need like you have to still have, he have that type he, of he does not offensive him, footwork. He does not beat him easily, nor is that fight happening anytime soon. Like, no. well, here's my thing because it's supposedly Shakur. Yeah, I, I could on. dream, can I? It's like, I, I, we gotta I, I mean, like a mythical matchup. It's I mean, you can dream, lane. but you know, today's not the day to be talking fantasy fucking boxing. <laughs> but, uh, here's my thing Shakur's. Um, fuck, I forgot what I was gonna say. Now. You know what else is fantasy fucking boxing? Keith Thurman versus Tim Zhu. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening, in RGR? Yeah, but yeah, but I'm saying though, but at least with with, with William Zapata, I mean, obviously, you know, from his from his fight last. I mean, Rob D, what it do? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, I mean, I mean, from his fight, yeah, from his fight last Saturday, like I said, Maxie Hughes 
Maxi Hughes is coming off obviously getting shafted in this in this fight with George Cambosis. The fight he probably should have won. Yeah, yeah. And and this time he got fucked in a different way. Pause. He turned Williams the to turn next. He beat him, turned him red like a maxi pad. That, <laughs> that yeah. first round I was like, okay, this first round was kind of lit, bro. I was like, oh shit. Then it just became a fucking Yeah, Max Maxi fought the wrong. I mean, Maxi tried because you know Cepeda needs one round to kind of get started. And he tried, and he tried, and I think that was probably the closest. If you want to say that he won that round, you, you probably can. But after that, Cepeda was like, you know what? I'm putting my foot in your ass. Like, I mean, Cepeda was yeah, like, Cepeda lumped that dude up. Like, he, he, like, there was nothing like Cepeda. I don't know. I, I, that body I, I, work was crazy. That body work he was getting on him. Yeah. Yeah. I don't understand how Hughes did not go down once from that, yeah, from that beating he was taking. Like, like that shit was that that shit was bad. Like the referee was like, you know, you could tell the referee wanted to like jump in at times, you know, especially when Zapata came on him on the ropes. But it, it, but it seemed like Zapata was trying to like either counter him, which wasn't working because he does, he doesn't have that type of power, and he couldn't hold him because he's too because you know Zapata's too strong, and he just let Zapata just beat him like a drum. I know Cambosa should be like ashamed of himself, like yo, I struggle with this, like what the fuck, <laughs> you know. And then, and then, like, it, and then the, it, it got so bad the corner had to be like, yeah, like, no, we had we had to stop this fight because, you know. And then uh, Maxi Hughes pretty much he broke down in tears in his corner, and you saw, and they 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 didn't have to put the camera on his wife too, like. Yeah, that was that that tripped me out when they were showing the wife after the stoppage. I was like, why are they doing that? Like, come on now, why? Are yeah. They doing that? These niggas been taking hits from ESPN. That's what it is. Yeah, with them dirty cameras. Dirty, dirty cameras. Fucking dirty ass cameras. Because they was kind of showing her too much during the damn fight. And it's like, like we get it. Your husband getting his ass kicked. Like, all right, let, lay off of her. But they was just still like, just like they want a reaction so bad. Like, Zepeda's I wish they would like start reacting to the camera. Like, okay. Like, right. Zapata's volume is crazy. Um, He's a guy that I've, you know, we see, I don't know if Pat watched the fight, but he got dropped by a random dude. Um, but he's improved. I mean, he's a guy, like, he's clearly a top five, you know. Like, yeah, he's easily, he's easily a top five. Like, and, and I feel like, now, you know, like, he, was, he was going to WBA route, which is, you know, Tank's belt. But I feel like he's, he now he's switching to the IBF to fight the, he's going to, you know, fight the Loma, winner, Loma Cambosos winner, basically. I think, I, I can see him getting a fight over Shakur for unification because Shakur's last fight on top rank. So, um. Yeah, yeah, like, like Zapata has options because he's, he's like number one in three of the sanctioned bodies now. So it's like, and I know pretty much now, like, you know, it, it's good to hear fighters actually call somebody out, especially Zapata. You know, Zapata don't speak English, but even he was like, yeah, no, I want this. But like, yeah. Call he says the name, though. I give yeah. him that. It's going to yeah. be Loma. It's going to be the Loma Cambosis winner. I can, I can. And he said that one, too. So, like, and Andy, like, dude, he beats the shit out of Loma, Chenko, Cole. I'm not going to lie. I think he could beat Loma. I think he could, he could. And he definitely gives the course. Well, he's just too small. He's too, and, you know, time, he's just too small for one thirty. I know he's a unified former unified champ, might win again, but he's a little too small for the the big, the big, you know, the bigger young guys. Because you know what, this fight showed me like like Cepeda hits hard. I mean, I know he hits hard, but dude, it, it, it's his volume because his volume just doesn't stop. Well, like, was it two or three rounds? It was really, like I think the after the second round it was a hundred punches thrown by him. I was like, what the fuck when they when they said that shit? And I and I wasn't even like you know fight punch stats are kind of. Eh. But I could believe it because he that motherfucker just throws like crazy. Mm -hmm. And you know what? In New York, because he because um Zapata fights at high uh, trains at high altitude, and you know niggas that train at high altitude, their stamina be off the chain. Like you know, like you know, you can you you fight with the, you train where the air is thin, and you go in there and you fight. Shit, shit is a breeze for some of them cats. Like mm -hmm. the niggas is problems. Like. You know, but yeah, yeah, Zapata is clear. Like I said, Zapata and like I said, Oscar has done for now. I mean, we all would agree that Oscar has done his career like a just a huge disservice by not moving him into a bigger fight earlier. So now this is Oscar's chance. Like, I mean, Oscar and Bob have both said, Hey, you know, we can make this fight. They better make like I mean, I'm being optimistic like LB. Make the fight with Shakur because that fight has wings. You can make like Yeah. This is the first time niggas really like like kind of gave a fight to Shakur that has some interest, some buzz, and it's not on some like I think it's gonna be horrible or this or that or he don't deserve the fight or no one cares. Like people kind of low key care about this fight. So mm -hmm. I, I'm one of these guys. Like whenever I see a fight that's 
people seem to kind of care about or resonate towards make that fight. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, we did a whole topic on that shit, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Yep, we did. Hold on, I'll get there. Hold on one sec. Unless somebody else can. Hold on one sec. But yeah, like I said, because the pay, like I said, I said before, I'll go to fucking Newark again for this fight. Like for sure. I, I, I just feel since it's Shakur's last, I mean, since it is Shakur's last fight, like this, this is supposed to be Shakur's last fight on top rank. Like it'd be the perfect situation if Shakur were to fight Zapata for a crossover fight. And, you know, I don't know. I think Shakur, he got the ability to, I don't know. It, it's a tough fight. It's a tough fight. But he I has the ability. But like I said, because now, I mean, obviously they saw the Dale Santos fight was not, I mean, it was not a good look to see. And Dale Santos was not really in the elite lightweight. That was, that's that's elite. Elite. he has elite power. But the thing is, Dale Santos, he's a guy, he's more boxer than puncher. You need a guy who's really a puncher first, mm -hmm. who's kind of like a swarmer, like somebody who really want to just not going to take no and footwork for an answer. It, he's not going to take a jab and footwork for an answer. It, he's going to keep weird. going. It's weird with Shakur because obviously I feel like he doesn't fully trust his chin maybe, but, you know, against the, you know, the Yoshino fight where he just walked him down and stopped him, you know what I'm saying? Like, if that's the thing with, with Zepeda. You said he, he punches hard. I feel like he doesn't punch the hardest, but it's just, it's, it's hard enough, pause, and, and it, it just keeps going. You know what I mean? Pause. It just keeps, you know, like. I, I, think, I don't know. It's like his yeah. punches, like his hands were heavy as fuck, though. Because this almost got is a guy that has that, that one, you know, that, that one that punch that can just, you know, drop you. You know what I'm saying? Like that kind of shit. You know, the Nakatia fight. I'm just saying. Yeah, like, but he ain't going to take them. He ain't going to take that amount of chances. Because if he did, that fight wouldn't be the boring as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I remember both of them niggas the in there. Shakur should be able to stop Lomachenko, Cambosis, or or Zepeda. I feel like, but I feel like he doesn't trust. Yeah, but they ain't got they they ain't got the offensive threats like that. Loma offensively more of a threat, but it's like I don't think that fight's gonna happen. Shakur always be super respectful for this dude. That fight <laughs> never happening. Mm -hmm. But yeah, Zepeda Shakur, I'd love to see that fight. That's a great fucking fight. Yeah. Um, yeah, Ring Yang would definitely be in the building for that one. Well, I'm getting to the poll. Pause. Hold on. Yeah. Pause. <laughs> and why you do a shout out to Floyd Schofield for you know for that you know for having to go through that dirty ass fight with Swero like that <laughs> motherfucker like that motherfucker out Swero like you know because they were talking shit to each other in the build up because you know Swero they're both Dominican but Swero's like yeah you're not a real Dominican blah 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 and so Schofield was lighting him up with left hooks. And Squirrel was like, he kept spamming it. Like he doesn't use the jab. He, I can I, I see the skill. He got the instincts, you know. But he he kept spamming the jab and it stopped working. I mean, throw. I mean, he kept you know spamming the hook. I'm like, go to the body, you know, mix it up. Like his IQ. I don't know. He's got talent, but well, no, he because he, he wanted to knock him out, but in he the wanted to knock him out, but like reckless, you know, switch it up and then go back to the hook. I mean, you're rocking him with the hook. I, I, I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, um, but yeah, every time you well, watch, Schofield need to calm his ass down, like. Yeah. He need to fucking box more. He too, it's like he's Sean Porter with better punching. He fights too much um, off emotion. It feels like then you know. Um, I don't know. Okay, here he we go. too wild. He's literally like jumping in. Rah, 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 like I think got, I think got Ryan Shields in the corner, but you know, I in the corner I hear his dad talking more. Like, I'm just saying, like I don't know. I mean, Whatever. Oh, another damn Eddie Chambers, yeah, Bernard Anyways, Whitaker. We did have a vote. Not, not Eddie Chambers. I mean Calvin <laughs> Brock. Dad, we did have, we did have poll, um, in regard to the Zepeda Shakur, which we did ask if William Zepeda and Shakur Stevenson fought next, who would win? <clears throat> we have 30% for Zepeda. 40 I mean, how many votes was it? Oh, sorry, uh, 44. Still five days, mm -hmm. uh, ringing radio on every platform, but this is Twitter poll. So Zepeda at 30%, Shakur at 45, Track Meet at 18, and Too Close to Call at 7. So. Yeah, he was a fool for that track beat option. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know. I mean, but most a lot of niggas be thinking that though. <laughs> yeah. Obi, it sounds like you 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 kind of not favor the Peter, but you can. I don't know. What's the, what I, I pick the Peter. Really? Huh? Mm -hmm. It's possible. He's a, he. The only thing. Look, the only thing the Peter has to do in this fight to me is get fat. Is be fa be a little faster. Right. If he. If he stays the same, be and be a little faster, he 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 could win that. Because hmm. right now you just if, if you we we don't we haven't seen Shakur have to punch with anybody yet. Yeah, this is a different fight for him. 
this is a different fight. This is not your just typical pressure fighter guy. Like, it's if you notice in the fight, Maxi Hughes was landing some nice counters on Zepeda. It was. But the thing is, he couldn't get away from Zepeda. Like, those shots that he landed in the first round on Hughes, and Hughes, I felt like Hughes won the first round. It's like one of those, like how, you know, Spence kind of beat Tar beat Crawford the first round, but then it's like downhill from there. Yeah. And it's like really downhill, like they like pushed in a barrel Dude, downhill. Like, like Haney Regis, like the same thing. Haney Regis was the first round was looking down, you know, you know, high level skill, you know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah, decent for Regis. And then it's like, it's like, damn. Like, damn. Like, but, but yeah, um, the, the thing is, Hughes was landing the landing some good counters and being first at times, but whatever body punches he took or whatever shots he took kind of settled on that dude's body, and for whatever reason, he couldn't move in them damn second or third round. And he couldn't get out of the way of Zapata. And yeah, if I mean, you're in front of Zapata, if you're not damn prime Whitaker and your head moving and you're not James Tony with it. You're not really winky right with it, cloudy with it. You're going to get hit. And you got to have, like, the type of, like, you got to have Peter Quillen, Danny Garcia type of power to really keep him be away. in exchanges keep him away. with these niggas. Yeah. Like, yeah, like, and, and to make dude kind of go another game plan. So I don't know if Shakur really, you know, like, he already boxed like a guy who gets flustered. Right. So it's like, you know, he might get spooked if a dude is could really be in his wheelhouse. Like, William Zapata, all I would do is tell him, look, put on some fucking ankle weights and train for the whole camp against the course Stevenson. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, because I mean, you know, naturally it was supposed to be Navarrete eventually fighting Shakur, right? Because he's fighting for go moving up. But I feel like Zapata poses a much harder threat than Z I yeah. think Zapata punch for punch hits harder than Navarrete, and that's the difference. Yeah, I yeah. think Navarrete is a better overall boxer because Navarrete could pretty much do everything that Zapata could do. Plus, he has his own. He has his own special moves on top of that. Oh, 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 oh. You, wait, you, you think that you? Well, you think Navarrete is a better boxer than Zapata? Yeah, I disagree. I think he's I more, explain. I think, think he's more awkward. I think he does things more in an awkward way. But I think Zapata does things better. Like I, 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 I can see why you would say that. I just disagree with that. With I, I think he, he, I think he's he's more like I said. I, I would consider Navarrete to be a more unorthodox fighter than Zapata. But I think Zapata is actually a, a little better, especially when it comes to like shot selection and put and picking his shots. He he can be a little reckless though. But y'all know who Zapata's stable mate is, right? Who Matias? Ma Matias, yes. Yeah. yeah, I can see, and I can see. They're I can kind see of the, like, kind of the same, see, but I can it can clearly see it. You know, see that. I look at it like this, like um. With Zapata, I feel that I, I could I could see where King P is coming from. I could definitely see where he's coming more, from. More, I think he shows more variety a lot of times than Navarrete. Navar Navarrete and see, has that's where I was going to disagree with you because I feel like Zapata is better in his dimension, whereas yeah. the, where Navarrete could do a lot more. Like more Navarrete too. could move around the ring. He could box on the back foot. He, he could jab. Yeah, I feel like uh, but, but, what, but when it, and, but and like when all it, his punches are hard. Like I've seen Navarrete fight off the back. Like I've seen Navarrete fight off the back foot. I'm, you know what I'm, saying? I'm, like, I'm strictly talking about the variety and selection of punches. Like Navarrete. Yeah, nigga, that's part of boxing too. Like well, I'm saying, Navarrete, 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 Navarrete has a good selection too. I've never, I've never no. seen Zapata. Hold on, I've never seen Zapata fight off the back foot. I think Zapata like, is better at what he does and his specialty. But I kind of agree, with, like you know, in terms of you know footwork and just boxing ability. Man, Navarrete is all around. I think better boxer. Like I just think Zapata might rank higher in certain aspects of his boxing. But overall, if, if niggas is going to give me a guy to manage or to say who got more potential to be in pound for pound, 
it's Navarrete. Like, I mean, it's like you know, Matias. Matias is is you know a, a top one hundred and forty, but they're you know a guy like Hitchens and certain guys you know are better boxers. But Matias, you know, I, I don't know. I'm just saying in that sense. Yeah, because I mean, first of all, like a, a nigga who could d- throw fucking leaping uppercuts from the ground halfway across the ring and knock niggas to the other half of the ring. If you could do that continuously in different fights and scenarios, I mean, I I got to give you extra credit for that. Like, <laughs> he one of the few boxers that has an actual special punch. Yeah. He like, Pat, Pat from the era where he remember niggas having special punches. Mm-hmm. These new niggas don't have no shit like that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'm I talking like- about when niggas had trademark shots. Like like a Corrales hook to a Tito hook, a fucking mm. a, a Donovan smash. Yeah, yeah. Navarrete yeah, I mean, got the leap in the fucking uppercut. He's able to, you know, because like, Zapata's good at the pressure and kind of, you know, staying close to him and just, you know, it's basically in a, a the Zapata's thing. like like Joet Gonzalez, just better, much better. <laughs> Whereas <laughs> Navarrete, and look what Navarrete did to Joet Gonzalez. His, yeah. but I think when it comes to um, Zapata, he's in a in a different way. He has a calculated pressure like uh, Brandon Figueroa. Um, obviously, a, a different style, you know, less smothering. But it's the method, to, the madness of the you know Matias. Those guys that just have come forward, pressure fighters, you know, and will overwhelm you. You know what I mean? Um, yeah. See. Yeah. See. Uh, what's his name? Um, Zapata's more pressure. Brandon Figueroa is more swarmer. But the thing is, um, Zapata, he has swarmer angles. If you look in the fight with Maxie Hughes, he was pivoting. And he was like his his overall defense could be improved, no doubt. Like, and when I say improved, like he's not like we're talking about. Brandon Rio said. You know, on one side of the spectrum, Roman Gonzalez on the other side of the spectrum. <laughs> it, respectfully, damn it. Like, I'm a Brandon Rios fan, but I'm just saying, nigga. Of course. You know, respectfully. Like, he's in between that spectrum. He's in the middle. But when he gets going on the inside pause and he starts ripping those shots and y'all said I was seeing the little Pacquiao pivots on the inside, and he was ripping angles, and I'm like, okay, he wasn't, you know, this has gotten better. Like he wasn't doing it like this before. I'm like, yeah, he's okay, improved. okay, he's improved. I mean, I think with Matthias, you know, is his stable mate. Like there's a certain relentlessness, but there's. A but mission. I ain't seen Matthias move like that before. No, yeah, exactly, yeah. No, but I'm just saying, in the terms of those, the, that's yeah, the power, relentlessness yeah. is there. Yeah, I'm saying, come forward, for, you know. You know, keeping it, you know, close fighters, heavy handed volleys, yeah, yeah. uppercuts, the different shots, yeah, the do, do them body shots like that. Like, you know, he was ripping the body, Paul. He was those body shots were killing Maxi, bro. Yeah, there was one yeah. body shot where I was like, God damn, I was like, How did he stay up for that? You know, how did he fucking stay up for that? One? That's yeah, what I'm saying, that. like, yo, and th- that's what I'm saying, like, he's not gonna head hunt after Shakur. Like, a guy like Zapata, he's looking to just be on top of you. And land wherever he could land, Breaking and that's how you gotta approach guys like Sakura Stevenson who want to be pretty and fucking move. I just wish that Zapata's pressure would be a little bit more educated. Like I think sometimes he has a tendency to get a little too wild, but maybe that's just because the guys that he's fighting, he don't respect his, their their power. So yeah. that could be yeah, that's the Mexican style. The niggas get hit sometimes. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I mean, I, I, mean I, I feel you. Like yeah, I mean, imagine if Maxi Hughes could punch harder. <laughs> he would have really been taking some like shot shots because Maxi Hughes really kind of got off in between. Even even when Maxi Hughes was losing, and it was like, damn, he was still landing in between some of those shots. Like, I, I mean, I know what I was watching, like. Like, imagine a nigga like Tia Fimo, uh, not Tia Fimo, who's at 130? Uh, like a tank getting those shots. Uh, for even a Frank Martin, like a puncher, like a guy who could punch getting those you know, type I'm, of shots. I'm, I'm still confident Tank would, would knock out Zapata, but it would be tough. It would be a tough fight. Yeah. Because a guy like Cruz got better defense, so is a difference. Like, Whereas I don't think like, Zapata ain't going to. 
I don't think Zapata be he'll trade uppercuts with um Tank before he'll damn block it. But that's that's the difference. With a check left hook, I saw Zapata get you know get legitimately dropped. You know, I mean, people say it was the back of the head, but you got dropped. I mean, you know, you know, niggas get dropped sometimes. I'm just saying. Yeah, of course they do. <laughs> Unless you're Oliver McCall, but yeah, you know. <laughs> so, but really, real quick, Shutter, you really, you really favor um, Zapata over Loma, huh? I do. <laughs> yeah, Loma is. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, I feel like Zapata beat the shit out of Loma. Yeah. Jeez, man. Dude, remember, dude, Jermaine Ortiz beat was put hands on Loma. I thought he won that shit. It'd be a step up because I mean Zapata was. You know, you get the Jojo Diaz win, um, the Gesta win, you know what I'm saying? This, Maxi Hughes is one of his, you know, top three win maybe for him, you know. It's like, Lomachenko's yeah. a, a, a big step up. I know he's older and stuff. I'm just saying, if, you know, I don't know if he beat the shit. I don't know. Maybe he would. I wouldn't be surprised if he were to overwhelm him. Um, When's the last time Lomachenko fought somebody like that? Yeah, no, yeah, not really, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, Loma, yeah, Loma, like, Loma doesn't really, I mean... He, he, I don't think he's fought a pressure fighter like I mean Lenars is probably the closest thing he's fought to a pressure fighter at 135 and Lenars ain't really a pressure fighter like that. Yeah. So, Lenars is a good all around guy who could do everything. So it's like it's like De La Hoya turning into a pressure fighter. Yes, effective. He could be effective with it, but it ain't the same as a real natural like you switch out De La Hoya and you put Margarito 154 in there. <laughs> who wins Keyshawn? You know what I mean, like now was like, okay, wait, wait, wait. It's a little different. Who wins? Keyshawn yeah. Keyshawn Davis or Zapata? Mm, I know. I, I put Zapata. But 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 Keyshawn hits hard enough to where he could make it interesting. But it's like he gotta like it's like you gotta be a guy like you gotta be able to damn counter Zepeda in between shots. You have to I don't think you need to be a mover, but you need to have agility. Like you need to be able to move around Zeta, but not necessarily move around the ring. You gotta be a big a bigger dude and have legit at least 140 pop. I feel like you know Zepeda's relatively big, you know, lightweight. So I feel like he, he honestly he's been fighting a lot of 130 guys moving up from 130. So it's like a guy with legit pop that has good boxing skills. Like I still favor Sha- I favor Shakur over over Zapata. Yeah, because on the flip side, if I knew I was fighting a guy like uh, Zapata, I would train with damn ankle weights. And every guy I'm sparring with or doing drills with, they would be fucking going after me, like mm-hmm. cutting off the ring and everything. And my whole thing is to be able to manage the violence and outbox them. And but sometimes to manage the violence, you're gonna have to like. Lay some like real heat on a nigga, right? So that and that's what make the fight so good because they literally could do train. They literally could be the do be as they always are. They just got to be faster at what they do and manage what they do better. If I'm Zapata, training with ankle weights on, like like when I get into fight with this nigga, I'm boom, I'm on this dude. If I'm Shakur, I'm training with ankle weights on. Because I want to be able to still move around this guy, but increase my agility where I'm not moving across the ring to get away from this nigga. I'm moving in little spots and angles so I could counter him with two or three shots. That's a, that's a, that's a great fight. It need to happen. Fuck that. Yeah. And like I said, and like I, said I mean, nothing like Zapata pretty much now. I mean, like everyone now is he's established as a top lightweight. And all, all he needs now is just opportunity, and we just gotta hope that one of the notable lightweights gives him that opportunity. Yeah, I mean, at, at this point now, like he's at a point where he can basically wait for the Cambosis, you know, Loma winner, and basically enact, uh, you know, unless you know him and Bob can get something, he could. I think he's number one for IBF, so he would. He could. I think he'll eventually fight that winner of that. I think he's number one for everyone except the WBO. I think. Yeah. Oh, let, me, let, me, let me check. Well, he, he's, he's hell on wheels for anybody right now. I don't even find WBA. Hold on real quick. Let me see. So he's number one in WBC. Wow. WBA. Um, Six in IBF. What? Oh, damn. He's six in IBF. That's going to be dang. Probably can't fight Campbell. Lama. 
and he's uh so he's third in WBO. Yeah. Yeah, like so, like he's like he's yeah, first first WBA, first WBC. So Shakur actually would you know he I, I don't I don't do you yeah, all, if the WBC does all, if the WBC calls the Mando for Shakur, then yeah, that fight's going to happen or Shakur's gonna give up his belt. I could see it being forced a, a for you know a purse bid you know if anything because I don't know I, I don't I don't feel like Oscar and Bob like would they would they work together for that fight yeah they, they they have a they have a good relationship Oscar yeah, and Bob they do. I mean you know, they do I'm just saying like Oscar tends to move certain guys you know cautiously which is weird because Oscar was all, with all the smoke but whatever I don't think he's gonna do that with Zapata like if they could make that fight like what other like. Zapata's at the point like he's on the damn cusp. Like, yo, make the fucking make. He has to make a big fight. Another Nobody else is yeah. right there. Look, Munguia's finally getting a big fight with Canelo. Like, enough of the jobber shit. Enough of the like, you know, like fighting the the guys you should beat. Yeah, this is the year. Like, this is the year for these this Golden Boy year, really. Because like all their big fights are winnable fights to me. Right. Because sometimes, the you know. And when you go in knowing you're the bigger, stronger guy and you're relentless and you're facing the boxer, like that's all you need, man. Mm-hmm. And that and that's what they excel at. Like, so nah, like now we just need to get Victor Ortiz in a damn good fight. Not Victor, oh, uh, Virgil oh, Ortiz. Virgil Ortiz. Yeah, my mm-hmm. bad. You just need Victor Ortiz to like. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, you say Vir- no, you say Victor Ortiz. We don't need to see that quitter anymore. Yeah, we see him do whatever the fuck he want elsewhere. We'll see, we'll see him in good fights, and he'll quit all of them. So, no. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> no facts, though. But yeah, no. Sutter, are the cops outside your flat? <laughs> uh, but nah, nah, like nah. We we could ain't no cops outside. Um, I don't think so, but. I ain't looking outside right now. I could check the phone, but yeah, isn't Edgar Belenga fighting Daniel Jacobs? May as well make that. that that's been kind of a, a little rumor, but nothing. I seen they like faced off at one point or some shit, but um, yeah, the fucking basketball game. Yeah, nah, like at this point, make that fight. Like, there's nothing else really popping for neither one. Um. Yeah, Jake, and Belinda did look a little slightly improved or better. Yeah, I mean, I mean, Jacobs, Jacobs is paid now. Like Jacobs, Jacobs got a triple G payday. He got Canelo payday. You know, he got he got one of the last big HBO paydays. You know, he's you got to rock by Ryder too much in that fight. You got I mean, that was kind of. I mean, I think he kind of got robbed. You know, you home cooking, but it's like he didn't look good. I mean, you know, he's he's a, he's a, he's an older. You know. Not, yeah, he, he, and that's the best Jacobs looked in all them fights since the Canelo fight. Yeah, yeah. Like, remember, yeah. damn, Rosado got robbed again. Rosado got robbed. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So I mean, like, I mean, if they make that fight, I mean, Jacobs should beat Berlanga's ass. Like, I mean, because I mean, they'll never make. You know, Eddie has Eddie has. Um, what's my boy Diego Pacheco? Berlanga will never take that fight because I I just feel like Pacheco would, would, would wreck his shit. You know. Like, yeah, that's why I said Jacobs is the safe fight. The only way, like, look, look. Jacobs could just turn it around and just do a quilling performance, but he has to sell out to do it. He has to really just dig deep and say, fuck it, let me go all out. Let's see if I can body this nigga early. The difference is, like, Berlanga might could catch him in the process, but that's the chance he got to take. But I feel like Berlanga's one of those dudes, if, if you start putting the heat on him first and he can't get in his rhythm... And you could buzz him or stun him, you could get him out of there. Like you could kind of, like I feel like what's that dude name? Um, the Seth. You could Seth Mitchell him a little bit. <laughs> yeah, like a guy who, like he ain't really built like that. Then he don't really have the what's that? Uh, physical dimension, the endurance, or he's not durable. Is what I'm trying to say. Like, yeah, that's right. a better word. <laughs> Shut up, oh shit, yo! It, <laughs> uh, Jacob is actually cooked in the boxing scene. He's going nowhere. They probably would shake Shutterworth hand and congratulate him for being white. Yo, <laughs> <Ms. Bitch. laughs> Y'all think it's me wild. Yo, Miss Bitch, how much of this stuff have you been doing before coming to the chat? She doesn't. Uh, Miss Bitch is a constant. 
Shredder would have used white toothpaste instead of charcoal toothpaste. What the fuck? <laughs> like, that, what's charcoal toothpaste? That's a thing? Yes, it's a thing. Oh, damn. Mm -hmm. Is it a good thing? Yeah, it's, I mean, but I, I, I need the whiteners, though. I, I, my toothpaste is whitening, so, but charcoal is cool. <laughs> oh, okay. So, yeah, so I, dark, dark niggas use white toothpaste. Yeah. <laughs> I'm trying to make it like I'm no like light skinned niggas just use light white two face like the fuck. <laughs> but yo, know, in uh, in terms of I, obviously even with all the PBC excitement and stuff like that, obviously you know this coming weekend it's very light on boxing. You know, like it's only one one event, and you know which is a touch upon a little, little bit before we go on to. Yeah, our we, we 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 went we're going from one Zapata to the next. Yes, you know, yeah, that's a perfect segue. You know, um, basically, you know, obviously, Matchroom, Eddie's putting on one of his UK cards because, you know, Eddie's been traveling all over the world, but now he, he's back in this country. And you know, he has he has one of his prospects, Dalton Smith, facing someone who's, you know, obviously who's been known through, you know, his years at top rank in Jose Cepeda, you know, and. Personally, I, 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 I'm not, I'm not cool with the Jose Cepeda role that he's playing with Matchroom right now. And I get it, you know, boxers got to make money and whatnot. But it just, I was like, God damn, it seemed like after, ever since Cepeda, I mean, Cepeda lost that fight to Pro Gray, where he got pretty much beat down, you know, it's like, okay, yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm going to, yeah, I'll put it, put it with, with uh, Richardson Hitchens. And, you know, that wasn't a good fight to watch. <laughs> any, any parts of the match, it was not a good fight to watch. And now I'm not, you know, again, like, again, the jobber role, you know, with him facing Dalton Smith, one of Eddie's, you know, top matchroom prospects and whatnot. And, like, I mean, the fight is whatever. Like, I mean, I, all I'm hoping is I'm just hoping that Jose Cepeda actually knocks dude out. And I might even put money on that shit. You know what? Hold up. Since we talk about this, you know, this betting gambling thing, you know, let, let me see where Jose Cepeda actually falls um, in FanDuel because, uh, yeah, I I am very curious to see where he is. God damn, like apparently if you get you can get fifty percent off on HBO Max through through uh FanDuel. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> damn. Yeah, HBO they're everywhere except in, in boxing, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> Mars. Shit. All right, so, so yeah, what what if you oh no, I'm sorry, I keep going. I'll go back to it. Yeah, but so right now, Dalton Smith and Zapata. Zapata is a plus 220 underdog. Dalton Smith minus 290. Method of victory. Uh, Dalton Smith for a decision, minus 110. Dalton Smith KO, plus 340. Draw, 1600. Zapata points of decision, plus 430. And Zapata KO, plus 600. So... Like I said, you know, those are good upset odds, and you know, I will absolutely, positively be betting on Zapata Kale because you know, I, I just it just feels right because I, like I said I'm not gonna accept Zapata in the job role. Good luck. With that. Good luck with that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Pete, you're not gonna bet yeah, on that fight. Zapata's so done. Uh, yeah, Zapata is washed, bro. Like, come on, he he looked like a two pack of ass in his last fight. What are we doing, right? But see, look, like you know what. I'll, I'll never fucking like nothing set in stone because what I remember that Catterall um, and Lenares. Oh yeah, yeah, yo, me and LB were pissed about that fight, yo. Like, yo, nah, like sometimes you think this is like a, a, a alley oop for that shit, but nope. Yo, we we both bet because I mean that's that because that that's what we that's what me and LB we raised because. We put money on both Catterall stopping Lenores. Like, you know, Lenores, Lenores got stopped by old ass Cano. Like, what do we do? And then this motherfucker goes the distance with him. Like, and didn't even try to knock him out. Yeah, see, it's one thing if Lenores would have been hanging on for dear life and just surviving. It's like, you can't be mad at that point. But to see a guy who's been stopped so many times and you don't even try to really go for it, it, yeah. just, it was just heartbreaking. Like, yeah, I don't even care about a Catterall fighting anybody now. Like you went from somebody I, I was high on and wanted to see you fight again to like just because I don't give a fuck. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, I, yeah. I was pissed because I was like, that was supposed to be a gimme. You know, honestly, that 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 that, that was a gimme bet. This nigga fucked it up. Yeah. You know, so but like I said, uh, I mean, maybe you know, maybe the box guy was smiling as a pay to, you know, I'm like, okay, you know, I'm gonna knock this young English kid out, you know, but uh, you know, you know, we'll, we'll see how that goes, and at least you know with this with this card, I mean, we have Terry Harper and Sandy Ryan facing off for, uh, I think Terry Harper's welterweight belt. So I mean, you know, you have an interesting women's fight that's not getting a lot of, you know, it's not getting a lot of attention and whatnot. So at least it has that on there. But like I said, it's, it's your typical Eddie current UK card. I feel like Terry Harper always fighting for a title, bro. <laughs> hey, yo, seriously, like, like every time I turn around, she's in a title fight. Like, like what the fuck? She like she's she like that. She's like the half off Great Valley version of a uh, Katie Taylor. But the funny thing is too. But the funny not worth too, watching. One thing is Terry yeah. Harper, and and she might actually be declined because. She actually had a draw with Cecilia Breakers, and she probably should have lost that shit too. It was yeah. a good fight, you know. I thought it was a decent fight, but she should have lost that shit too to Breakers, you know. So, yeah. but it was kind of close to me, so I feel like, yeah, yeah. So, but at least it has that. But like I said, you know, it is, you know, like I said, it's it, it's something for Saturday. It's for the afternoon before PBC, you know, for the PBC card or whatever. Obviously, so if you're a degenerate gambler like I am, and P, or well, although P is not that degenerate to bet on this, you know, you, you know, you got a little action to work with, you know, for so. But like I said, it's it's an afternoon card, so after that, you know, all you guys be, you know, you can go out afterwards and have a life. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, do that. Um, oh, I'm I'm having a life, regardless. This is my this is gonna be my last weekend before being on the road for a couple weeks. So yeah. Word, word, I'm word. gonna have a life. So, oh, yeah, I, mean, I, I don't know if we're doing predictions, but I like like Dalton Smith is a guy like him and Nick Ball. I'm kind of weary of UK, you know, up and comers. I ain't gonna lie. Maybe I'm the American, whatever. But I'm Smith just saying, is like, not good. Smith is not good. He's decent. Right? No, I mean he's decent. He's, he's decent. not good. Like I've seen him have, fight. What do you mean? He's, he's decent. You know, he's a domestic British fighter. Well, this is a step up. I mean, I, I think he's going to knock out the pain. I mean, dude, if he doesn't, dude, he'll dude. let me down like Nick Ball. I'm just saying, like, this is going to be a horrible fight. Nick Ball was looking good. He kind of let me down, you know, the dog bowl fight. And, uh, well, you know, not, be, I'm just saying, I've seen Dog Smith look decent in good fights. And just, you know, I mean, he, he looks decent against fucking club fighters in the UK. Like, Come on, man! And this is like, a step up. Seen, That's what he's to, you know, like I'm just saying, this is a, and and he, I only picking him to win by ugly decision because the paid is completely washed. They know what they're doing when they yeah, get him. Okay, but I don't. I think would you give him props if Dog Smith were to knock him out legitimately? Would you give him props then, or he still? I trapped? mean, if he if he knocked him out, yeah, I would give him like some props, but. Like, yeah, because I think this is going to be an ugly decision. I don't think he's going to knock him out. Yeah, UK, does, UK is like WWE. Like, you, you, you never, we never went over there unless you clearly won. Yeah, well, as, as the road guy, you know what I mean? Well, fuck it. Like, I'm a degenerate gambler, so I'm betting on this to pay the KO. I want this motherfucker's, uh, I'm going to pretend this motherfucker's about to get me paid next weekend. <laughs> you know, straight up, word up, though. But yeah, like I said, you know, the, it, it's a, it's something to watch for next weekend for boxing until the PBC card. And, 30th, and then of course, Deserto fights on the 30th. I just actually remembered that the both fights are on that weekend, you know. So, like I said, but um, but yeah, outside of that, you know, we got a movie review. So, LB, if you ready, hold on, hold on, Pat. Let me let me let me answer this one from Blazing Killer real quick. Yo, okay. what if you woke up on July 21st, you went on Boxing Rec and searched up Mike Tyson, and you saw it say 57 first, 57 first, first initial thoughts. <laughs> Yeah, I'm. I'm just gonna be like, I, I, I'm. I'm just gonna be like, yeah, you know, whatever. <laughs> you know, it's just, you know. I think it's gonna be a draw. They're gonna do some bullshit. Like, I, I don't, I don't see. I mean, right now, it's not. It, it, they don't even. Did they, they even say if it's gonna even be a pro or an exhibition yet? So that's why I'm not even making no type of predictions or anything like that. Yeah. It just. And they just looking for the biggest thing to get everybody's eyes and attention for one day on Netflix, right? And and, and we all know because uh, it's Mike Tyson and Jake Paul, so and you're not paying any extra, so it's gonna smash some. It's gonna smash a whole bunch of streaming records. That that is for damn sure. You yeah. know, I'm not hating on it. Like if it acts as a gateway to future shit where you can get real hardcore matches and 
are better fights or even if you always have to just do an event like this and then you have other good fights with it, then hey, like box is being put at the pedestal it deserves. So fuck it. Like, I mean, I, that's the one, that's the one thing with, with, with Jake Paul. He's moved around to different platforms, which is like, you know, and in and, and like I said, he, he, you know, I guess business wise, that's it's working out for him, like from Triller to Top Rank to The Zone, like, so you know, like he, he goes on time, like, yeah, Showtime, yeah, all these different platforms. So it works for him because for the most part, all his pay per view events kind of sell. So it's like, for the most part, so I mean, it, it works for him. But if it's, if, but yeah, if my cousin, if I wake up and see fifty seven, I'm just like, well, whatever. Like you know, them niggas got a, got a Netflix bag, so it's like, <laughs> yeah, you know. But obviously, if it's a legit fight, then yeah, I'm never gonna. I, there's no way in hell I don't give a shit. I, you know, Tyson will knock Jake Paul. I'll, I will <laughs> never, never uh, will I ever say Jake Paul will beat Mike Tyson. Like that, that, that doesn't exist in my. In my mind, like I'm not, I, I can't, I, I'll never fix myself to say that because, you know, Jake Paul as a boxer is mid, he's mid as fuck. So, uh, yeah, I, I'll, I'll, I'll never, ever, ever say that off rip. Now, if it ha- if it, now if I'm wrong, then so it, it's unfortunate, but that's just where it is. <laughs> Thanks. All right, but yo, so we basically just gonna do a quick movie review uh, before we get up out of here. Because like I said, you know, my man LB, you know, he did a quick short on a movie that came out earlier this year called Mayhem. You know, it's a little Thai flick or whatnot. And uh, it's, uh, and you know, when we saw the trailer for it, I was like, okay, this is, this looks like, you know, we need it. Because, you know, like I said, me and LB, we watch a lot of violent shit, you know. And it's like, okay, this, and, you know, the trailer was like, okay. And then it's through IFC because, you know. I actually, I think he has the gangs of London and all the other shit. So it's like, yeah. so you, so so automatically, it, it gave it like you know, it gave it uh, credibility. That's the word. That's a good word to use. Credibility. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so let's go through our list like we always do. So LB, number one, what was the best thing about the movie? The violence. Yes, sir. The yeah. violence and the fighting, like that's that's number numero uno. Number one, like that's the shit. Yeah, I agree too. Cause yeah, and the fights were well done. You know, the fights uh, they were violent, they were visceral, they were bloody as fuck. You know, my man was like, you know, like there was a whole bunch. Like the women were getting like horribly beaten up. Cause I know when this nigga LB was telling me that, I was like, and like, nah, that can't be. But the, some of the women there were catching some real ass whoopings, like. Brutal ones at that. Palm strikes and everything. Palm strikes. Yeah, kicks to the side of the head into the wall. Like, <laughs> yeah, like arm breaking. Like there was there was a hold of back. Like I was like, man, I said we don't love these hoes. And it was like, really? And then the pow pow. Like now, get, now he wasn't just doing that just because he had problems. You know, the, you know they did something horribly wrong to him in the movie. So you know they yeah. they, they you know they they had to they had to catch that work. You know what I mean? So. You know, we're not uh, we're not some man hater shit. It was just we just happened to notice that these women were getting fucked up, <laughs> straight up and down. Man. High quality fucking ups. Yeah, you know, like it, yeah, it, yeah. It was the, the when the violence happened, it was quality. Like shouts to the fight choreography being as tight as it was. Like that that was easily the highlight of that uh, of of the movie. Um, what was the let's see, what the second question? <laughs> Oh uh, yeah, worst thing about the movie. And I know LB, we talked about this too. Um, the worst thing about the movie was the fucking pacing, the pacing of it. Like the story was cool. It wasn't anything, it wasn't anything deep or whatever, but it took a little bit too long for it to get really cracking the way it needed to be. You know, like I said, it took I'd say it took like maybe 40 minutes for it to get cracking. Like it was just they, they they went through I would say in during time they went through the whole story they went through the the, through the plot and yeah. they went through dude's background a little bit and shit like that but yeah but you had to go through a real good like almost fifty minutes to even get to like the whole revenge arc like yeah. it kind of just took too long and they didn't really write it in a way where you had progressive fights going throughout the film you just had little. Little teases and tastes. Right. Yeah. It's like 
like going to like a Costco or a Sam's Club and they got the samples. Mm-hmm. And you going down every other aisle, you're like, oh, okay, hmm, he got chicken patties. Oh, okay, shrimp here, this, that, that. Like, right. like, but it's it's not filling you up. Mm-hmm. It's just something, and that's how it was giving you in the first like 40, 50 minutes. Right. And that's why that's why it was just like, you know, and obviously, I mean, yeah, they teach you with the little little bits of violence here and there, but you know, it, it was just normal vibes. It wasn't like the gruesome, grisly vibes that, you know, that would pop off in the last half hour or so. Uh, last half hour or 40 minutes or whatever. But, yeah, it was just like the pacing could have been a lot better because, I mean, yeah, I mean, to me, I mean, there was just too much of the whole family aspect of it and not enough of the revenge aspect before, you know, dude goes ape shit. <laughs> yeah, like the, the whole transition and him moving around and just they had a little too much fluff. Like mm-hmm. they needed to tone that down because it's like I don't know why y'all try to have all this fluff for a movie y'all advertising is super hardcore gangster, you know, beat 'em up type shit. Right, and 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 truthfully, I wasn't happy, you know, with with you know, dude. Like they made him like, in the way in the beginning, they made him like a bitch. Like you know, dudes approach him on a motorcycle. He should just kick the ass. Of, but no, they said that you know had him running through shit, you know, running through construction. Yeah, stuff, you know? like oh my god, like the first half had me really thinking like this dude's a bitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, seriously, like that's that's the thing. Like that should have been like okay, at least damn, like that was a perfect opportunity. Like okay, you know, kick kick these motherfuckers' asses and shit like that. But this nigga yeah. ran like a little biatch, you know. I was like, God damn, like this dude don't want to fight or do nothing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I didn't kind of like that shit. He was, he was giving damn Morgan from Walking Dead vibes. Yeah. <laughs> like, motherfucker, if you don't fight these niggas. Yeah. I'm like, no, no, no. Get out of you slave ass, slave ass nigga. Like, yeah, you're, 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 dude was very capable of killing and killing in very grisly ways. But yeah, that was the shit that's like, yeah, the, the, it, the, the pacing in the beginning, like the movie could have been much better. So, in terms of that, like, I mean, LB, what do you get? W- would you recommend it? Hell yeah, it's definitely a recommend. Like, if you like violent films, action, martial arts, boxing, mm-hmm. Muay Thai, Kumite, Shotokan, Karate, Kempo, whatever the fuck you indulge in. Yeah, watch this. Like, as a ranking, I give it a seven. Mm-hmm. If it's it's so close to being an eight or even better, it just the pacing was too glaring to them give it above a seven. But the violence keeps it above a six, right? Because the violence was well done. Yeah, and I get yeah, that was my score to seven. I'm like seven is what we call the acceptable level. Whereas if the action was at least you know was good enough to that okay this was noble that yeah it, it's a it's like a seven and then you can only go up by that and then it, it's seven and it, it, if it's less than seven then something would really have to really bring it down. Yeah, because yeah, you you right about that because what what really could have made this is an eight was like you put in a couple more fights and this movie probably becomes an eight. Right. No. Yeah. You you're right though because the because the plot of the movie is. Already simple, so it's like you there's yeah. no way, there's no way you can expand upon the plot and make it any more better than it already is. Like, it's you know, it, it, it's, yeah, it's a lack of action that's the main the story, good enough for what it was. The yeah. cinematography was good, yes, it and was. we talking how they filmed the fights. Yeah. I'll point that out, that was good, like, yeah, but it just needed more of it. Yeah, shout out to the whole where dude got got put through the bookcase like through his neck or some shit like that. <laughs> that was like that and, shit was hard. And then that and then dude slowly taking the knife and <laughs> and giving him a whole vivid section. That was dope too. Like you know, you know that's that just that's just that's just some of the that that's just some of the grim shit that that motherfucker ended up doing. Like I said that motherfucker went ape shit, you know, <laughs> in the last like in 30, 35 minutes of that movie. So yeah, but um but yeah, no, I recommend it's full. I, I fully recommend it. Is I know it's on. You know, it's from, like I said, if you like gangs of London type of violence, you, then you'll love the violence on you love the violence and mayhem. And like I said, it took me a minute to find that movie because I saw that fucking trailer back in December, and I only found that movie like last week. You know, like I said. Yeah. And, so yeah, we, that, yeah, that was a long. That was 
It not it's not up there with raging fire, but as far as like as long as niggas are trying to get this shit, is 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 it was a new one for this era right now. Yeah, no, Raging man. Fire, I went through fucking hoops and signed up on shit and the, just just to get that one. Like I, I really went through some fucking. But you hoops. know what? Raging Fire was worth it. Yeah. Raging Fire was a fucking ten for ten though. Yeah. That was a high quality fucking. I, I'm, you know what? I I owe myself to watch that again. Actually, it was that good. Um, sure, <laughs> absolutely. But and but that's the difference between that seven, like like, and just for recent movies, we had um the uh, sixty minutes, and we gave that an eight. Mm-hmm. Pacing in that is what made the difference. Mm-hmm. But if if you have, if you was to give, if 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 sixty minutes had the type of fighting that um, what's his name uh, Mayhem had, yeah, sixty minutes would be like a ten, right? You see what I'm saying? Like when you when you're at that level, something once it only takes one little thing to just make it like oh shit, like we got a great movie here. Mm-hmm. So yeah, like definitely, but yeah, that's it. There's levels in this game. Yeah, that, absolutely. So yeah, I mean, I was and I was probably the next, the next one we'll do, and it depends if we both see it in the opening weekend. Will probably be Monkey Man, you know, because that's getting good advanced reviews. So yeah, like and Hold on, know, when, when that drop, yo, it's April fifth. Yeah. Mm, well, that's a Friday. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm definitely I'm definitely planning on seeing it that weekend for for damn sure. Cause yeah, that might yeah that might be the move right there. Yeah, I'll so because you know we definitely obviously because like, you know any because you know because I mean, ever since you know um, LB put me on to RRR, you know where the, you know which is like an epic. It, it was three fucking hours, three plus hours, but goddamn a musical and some absolute ridiculous violence all mixed up in one like. Yeah, ever since then, I'm like, ever since, ever since I saw that movie, I'm like, okay, I'm confident that all these Indian films have, so you know, of that nature, have some violence in them now. <laughs> yeah, like, and I still be watching them Bollywood joints. It's just yeah. I don't be like advertising it like that one because it's like they be good, but I haven't come across one that was like, like because RRR is like a ten. Yeah, that, that's it. I've come one. across like some eights and some nines, but no ten. Mm-hmm. Oh, the only other ten. Oh, nah. The um, Bali Hara Baba, oh, the one with the B. Where it's one and two. That's a fucking ten. Mm-hmm. That's a fucking ten. Like yeah, um, that's a fucking ten. Yeah, I can't pronounce the name, but uh, mm-hmm. if I see it, it's on Netflix though. Yeah, but that's all. Bau Bau something. Yeah. But that's the whole reason why I'm, I'm gonna see I'm seeing Monkey Man in the theater because I'm like, okay, these Indian flicks now, they, they, you know, they, you know, they, you know, they learn it now. They learn, they learn it at the violent cell. So, yeah, yeah, so, yeah it, so it's definitely. It's the creative fuckery they had with it. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, stay tuned, stay tuned for more movie reviews of that nature, or regular movies. I mean, obviously, you know, we know any movies that you know, obviously that are trending, we, you know, we try to watch it. And we you know we we do our we do our review on it. But um, yeah, I think that's about it for now. Yeah. Um, get some final thoughts in before we get up out of here. Uh, King P, your final thoughts? Today sucked. Oh my god! That's all I have to say. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> I was not happy. So let's hope for a better day tomorrow. <laughs> oh my god! Yo, this thing is killing me, yo. But yes, yeah, so let's hope for a better day tomorrow. That's that, that's. You know that's 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 a jewel right there that King P just drew. Let's hope for a better day tomorrow. You know, what I'm yeah, saying? Like, a, a day without fragile bodies, pause, fragile minds, and fragile egos. Let it all <laughs> be strong. Be strong. <laughs> Absolutely, be strong. Be all that you can be. <laughs> no, nigga, this ain't the this ain't the Marines or the Navy or whatever the fuck that is. No, you're not gonna <laughs> be all that you can be. No, fuck all that shit. This nigga this said tomorrow Fondora pulls up the fuck. <laughs> yo, that would be that would be some shit. That'll be like, yo, like this promotion might be cursed. You know, or there's some real fuckery in your boat. <laughs> That's some funny shit. Damn. 
Hey, yo, pilot, you know, your follow thoughts? Uh, I don't got much. That's out there. Everybody listening, chat was engaged. You know, we're close to two thousand, man. We we should have way more, but you know, we don't. It's what it is. We don't we don't do the narrative bullshit. We we keep the real talk, like the name of this shit. So you know where we at? Ring and Radio, all day, every day. Check us out on every platform. Love. There you go, LB. Your final thoughts? Oh man, it's another good podcast. Uh, Monday night, good energy. Comments or commenting, you know, mad jokes, just doing what it do. Um, be on the lookout for more shit, more content. Um, yeah, we got to get over there. We we got to get that two thousand, like y'all. You know, invite some of your friends. Yeah, you know I mean, people show up. We got some more fire ideas. You know, we got some more R and B shit in the works. Yes, sir. I mean, can't have y'all just thinking that's it. You know, we got a special one coming up soon. But um, mm-hmm. this week, you know, it's still music. Um, do a soundtrack battle. So, yep, we got that. Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, like, right? Yeah, These young kids came came through and and, and they they smoked me out, and it's like. Yeah, <laughs> I can't like yeah, that nigga. That nigga. That nigga had his message before he came up on here. Yeah, was like, <laughs> yeah. They, they, they had me on one right there, bro. Like <laughs> that, that's how it is, man. That's the, the young. Uh, that's that's when the young shorties is on now. So, but yeah, um, just just keep rocking with us, um. I think Shogun about to be out. Uh, that'd be co- something to watch. Yes, sir. Uh, you gonna we keep reviewing shows, more shit. Um, but yeah, we gotta get this two thousand. So um, y'all make sure y'all y'all you know y'all at the crib. You know, watch those old episodes, ones you ain't seen, or if you missed the episode, you know, just run it like run it in the background. Listen to it. You know what I mean. Mm-hmm. Actually, we be we be putting a little soulful instrumentals on it, like so it's a vibe anyway. So you know, just imagine you you in the studio talking boxing and niggas playing beats for you, and you get to talk boxing. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. That's the vibe we give you. Like, you know what I mean, like no one else doing it like we doing it. So um, we gonna keep that going. Try to see if we could get a few interviews, collabs going. I drop some music, some projects, thinking about jumping on these freestyles and shit. I mean, go and get back to this rap shit. You know what I mean? But um, you know what it is, ring gang forever, uh, ever, 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 ever. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's that's all I got to say. I mean, we ain't here. Word up, you know, like I said, you know, we'll get, get us past 2,000 and, you know, like I said, you know, our numbers are where it needs to be. Like, we're definitely close to getting over the hump and everything like that. So y'all just keep, you know, sharing our lives, all our videos and shit like that, you know, just keep commenting, liking everything, you know what I'm saying, and just tell your friends about us so we can all be friends, because like I said, man, we do the shit for y'all, and then obviously, of course, if you see that scrolling banner, you know what to do, because, you know, that's still active, but yeah, no, we definitely got a lot of shit in store, you know, a lot of, you know, a lot of uh, live boxing visits to do, all of that, you know what I'm saying, like, we, you know, ringing, we, we, we out there, you know what I'm saying, and we're going to continue to be out there. So, yeah, for myself, you know, Pat Scorpio, the England representer. For LB, so we the God of the Go artist. For King People, they could be a for conscious pilot. You know, this has been another wonderful episode of Real Talk, where, as always, it shit's real. We talk about it. So, until next time, peace. Ah.